It is the Mike Count the Show. It's 1025 The Bone. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. We are coming to you live. How's everybody doing today? Good. Woo. Hey, woo, woo, woo. What are you wearing today? Why are you wearing a hat? What? What do you mean? I don't know. Just tell me about it. This idiot. Does he (laughs) always wear hats? No. I mean, not always, but he wears them often. Maybe you don't wear them backwards? I wear them backwards and forwards. Both today ways. just looks odd, different. Not odd. All different. Right. Yeah. Oh, I have no glasses on. I think this might be the first time you're seeing me without glasses and a hat on. Maybe. That is a first. Maybe that's the thing. Yeah. That was the that was the difference. Yeah. I just visualized it. You with the hat, but as a nerd with glasses, right. and it came in loud and clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I got I have contacts, so uh, oh. I'm wearing Way to them. Step into 2024. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you. New beginnings. I, I, I don't think I could ever do that. I would yell. I I would yell at my son. I'm like, put on your goddamn contacts. Just do it. And I'm like, I couldn't do it. <laughs> you, you have to put them on before you leave the store, right? Uh, yes. Like, do you have yeah. to do it? I don't know whether that's just for yeah. kids. Because my son wanted to get contacts. And they say, all right, but you got to you know, put them on before you leave the store. And he sat there and tried and tried. And I go, it can't be that hard. I go, can I put them in mine? And the lady was like, yeah. And I could not do right. it. Yeah. I was like, ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I guess it is pretty difficult. I've had them since seventh grade. I've never had a problem. Really? But, but my brother did. My brother couldn't get contacts because he couldn't put them in. I so couldn't do it either. I'm really very eye sensitive. Yeah. When, uh, when I did uh, Moe's movie, they had like three people hold oh, my yeah. eye yeah. to put oh. the little zombie lens you in my eye. see what this is doing to me right now? Yeah. My eyes are yeah. tearing. <laughs> I, I remember in uh, grade school we used to do the uh, like we called the Ace Ventura where you touch your eye. Uh, oh, that I can do. Uh, it's weird. That I can yeah. do. Boop. There you go. Yeah, uh, yeah but yeah. it's but mm-hmm. I don't know. Something about going up in the eye. Yeah. Oosh, oosh. Well, I do have this irrational. I guess it's not really irrational, but I have this fear that the contact lens is going to go up and yes. get trapped behind. Which happens eye. to my wife all the time. Yeah, that that's, freaks me out. That's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my wife had to go and get her eyes checked, and they did a thing where. Uh, they made one a contact was for far away and the other one was for close and it was supposed to adjust. And she goes, "What now? I'm yeah. adjusting my eyes. Yeah. Like, what am I doing?" So she's like, "I can see the moon. I can't see what's <laughs> right in front of me." You know? Yeah, it was weird. I go, "Just go in there and go. Can I see, please, <laughs> and see if they'll give you the right contact lenses?" What do they call us? Uh, lenses, the progressive lenses, yes. right? I have the uh, up top and the bottom. But I don't have to wear them all the time. But it's it's weird. I feel like a robot. I'm like doo, 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 looking around. And then my wife was wearing her readers, and I told her I go get your lenses in those readers because those I like those the way they look on you, the right. frames and stuff. And she wears these stupid little cat frame things. <laughs> And I go, I'm the one looking at you. Yeah. As long as you can see out of the glasses, <laughs> your job is done. Yeah, right. I'm the one looking at you. I like the other lenses yeah. or the other you like them, though? frames. Yeah, she likes them. I mean, she okay. likes them fine, but like, I'm the one looking at them. Yeah. So I don't My know. My wife's the opposite. <laughs> Yours goes little cat frames. Mine, I go, hey, would Harry Carey leave those to you when he died? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Check out really the good. kid <laughs> in the sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> Anyway, welcome uh, to the program today. Uh, I made a couple observations yesterday I would like to talk about. All right. When is the only times we use the word molest? Who gets molested? Oh, kids. L- little girls get molested. Kids will just... Kids and yeah. what else? Uh, well, no, there's also... Uh, no, what is the... Joe nope. nailed it. It's yeah. kids oh. and gators. Yeah. Gators? <laughs> do, do not molest the do alligators. Do not molest the alligators. Yeah. yeah. I passed is it the sign. Alligator? I was yeah. thinking of something yeah. that's... Uh, yeah, no molest. Nobody <laughs> says... Don't touch the alligators. Don't play with the alligators. They went for molest. That's yeah. the word that they used. <laughs> yeah. And the only other time we use molest is when it's with little kids. Yeah. I just thought that was very odd. A lot of alligator molestation in mm. Florida. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> People think that they can really mess with those things. Oh, it's unbelievable. Well, idiots. I mean, I, dinosaurs. But yeah. I grew up in neighborhoods in South Florida where the gators were always, we would go fishing in canals and they were always there. But you respected them and they respected you. You stayed away I, from each other. Did you try to ride them? I did. But I had friends that would grab them by the tail. I had a friend that would go, his name was Nico, and he would grab water moccasins by the tail mm. and try to throw them at him. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Nico's yeah. a real jerk. Right. Yeah, he was, he was a little Nobody likes Nico. Yeah, no, he was not a good kid. Where and, is he from? He was some type of Russian. Yeah, they're tough. It's yeah, weird. My yeah. cousin is Nico, and I feel like he's the guy that does that too. Yeah, he he was he didn't. He, I I don't can't. I don't think his parents were alive because he lived with his grandmother, uh, and she was very mean, and he was very mean. Nico is fine if he died. Yeah, oh, 100 yeah. percent. Wait, wait, let's make sure this is not my cousin. Because he lived down in South Florida. Did he really? Yeah, this with is his so weird. But he's not. Uh, is your, is he your lived, cousin Russian? 
No, he's not Russian. You yeah. sure this kid was Russian? Yeah, he's oh, Russian. Okay. He had an accent. Oh, yeah, this kid does not. Yeah. Nico, my cousin Nico, looks like Jason Kelsey. Like, he's a monster. <laughs> yeah. And um, But he's like a handsome, like, he's no beard or, you know, but he is, a, he manages a yacht. So he is out there, like, he's got, I don't know, it's hard. His brother is a uh, fishing captain on a, on a fishing charter boat. But they go out deep, deep sea fishing. His hands are like are like uh, motorcycle tires. It's unbelievable. Another, but, yeah. And I one time I go, hey, uh, I need one, hey, bring those boat hands over here. I need you to uh, put the something, do something with them. And he go, and Nico is like, I have yacht hands. I cannot help you. Out. I do not have. I do not have Alex's. Uh, by the way, back to uh, molest. Uh, so the definition for <laughs> no. it. Well, this is why we think of that. It says sexually assault or abuse a person, especially a child. But, but it means that, annoy. Well, it? that's the dated version. It says to pester or harass someone in an aggressive or persistent manner. And it's uh, the origin simply means to cause trouble or grief. So, you know, molest, that makes sense. Right, but why are you only, you've never seen anybody say don't molest the birds. Yeah, yeah. They just don't molest the gators. Yeah. That's bird. a weird choice of words. Birds are rats of the sky. That's but, why. But I'm Something just saying. Something happened there. You're right. Somebody, something yeah. happened where somebody was like, they're molesting those gators. Yeah, they're yeah. molesting them. Uh-huh. And they put them on government signs and then Disney signs and nobody just says beware of gators. They say don't molest the gators. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name that was in studio with us molested the gator, remember? Oh, he yeah. Did. Oh, yeah. Tom yeah. Simmons. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah. He stuck his finger in the gator <laughs> hole to find out if that's how you find out if it's a... No, you don't even know what the hole is. It's only, you find out if it's a man or a woman mm-hmm. or a boy or a girl. Uh, right in the old gator right hole. Right in the old gator uh, hole. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he did it too, man. That's hilarious. Uh, that, what was the other? Oh, I take my daughter to Wendy's after school. Wendy's, I think, is listening to the show. Oh. They have greatly improved their service. Yeah. Mm. Greatly. Mm. Like, I'm telling you, I'm in and out of there in three minutes now as opposed to 20 minutes. Now, it's what did cr- you get? I don't get anything, Carmen. I'm on a diet. <laughs> How do you like that? Even with the fries in, in the yeah. car? You don't, pick a, you don't do like a little pick of the fries out of the nah. bag? First Shut of all, up. I only love the smell of the fries. I don't love the taste of the fries. And the I just, the frost I, I quickly, <laughs> I quickly handled back to the back seat. Yeah. Oh. Get it away from me. Get it away from me. <laughs> so, no, Carmen, I haven't, I haven't cheated one time. Nice. Good yeah. for you. Thank you. If you Day could, three. Yeah. 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 I look, I, I, you got to start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. So, so, um, the guy at Wendy said to me, would you like a receipt? And I gave him a speech. I said, you know what? Nobody needs a receipt. Nobody needs a paper receipt anymore for anything. Yes, I. the minute I made that purchase, I already have a receipt from my bank. Mm-hmm. It's on my thing. If I made it, use a credit card, if I did anything, the only way I'd need a receipt is if I paid cash, and who's paying cash? Oh. No, I will tell you why you do need a receipt. Oh. Because couldn't if, I thought of all the reasons yesterday and I missed one. Go ahead. Yeah, you did. Because if you order something and it's not in the bag and uh, you don't have a receipt yeah. and you go back, they're gonna be like, No proof, we gave it to you. Yep. You just ate it, Fatty. Yeah, but you know, you know oh, what I mean? Oh, the last part in. Well, that's, what that, that. that's what Wendy's would say. <laughs> oh, yeah, we God. all right. know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, oh, Fatty's trying to get another junior bacon right. cheeseburger. But I'm just saying, if you don't have that receipt, <laughs> you will never get an item that they forgot okay, to Okay, so you. that's it. You want an itemized receipt to make sure see i'm only ordering three items you're getting a uh a chicken nuggets fries and a frosty so i yeah. see them as they're coming right. in the car but you, i get you now. You, you know who i wish gave paper receipts is uber eats because there have been a couple Forget times everything. where they do they do it's it's it on the bag. bag yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, i gotta yeah, save idiot. those <laughs> yeah. that's on you yeah. high ass yeah. <laughs> uh, man oh man i want to roll today i no. can't help it I gotta as, the, uh, as the great <laughs> mitch hedberg used to say uh when i buy a donut i don't need a receipt I give you the money, you give me the donut. We don't need to bring bring paper and ink into this <laughs> transaction. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth, though. I thought, I thought, what would I possibly need a receipt for? I get it with people who are using it for um, work, but clearly there's yeah. a digital way to do Could that. Could you imagine handing that to Rob DeMarco when you're doing your taxes and you have your charity and you have the house and the the condo and da da da? Oh, also we got some chicky nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, like Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. seventy trips to Wendy's. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. You still haven't gone to the one up here that has the AI on the drive-thru? No. That's where oh, that's over here? Right by, by uh, the uh, coffee the, place? By the coffee place, yeah. Wow, I'll try that. To Wendy's. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. That could what be why I they're improving their service. Yeah. They're afraid. They're, they're afraid. Getting, oh, yeah. 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 Getting taken over by the robots. Yep. The, the, Geo, you look like you're ready for a frosty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, Checkers the, AI was creepy AF. Checkers? Yeah, they yeah, have it too. Checkers has the AI. And I didn't know Checkers are still open. Yeah. Geo's yeah. like, let me get a uh, Dave single. Who are you kidding, Geo? <laughs> you know <laughs> <you're laughs> <in trouble. Yeah. laughs> It does put options up on the screen. Yeah. Would you also like this? And then yeah. it shows the oh, things. Oh, what if it had facial recognition? Oh, they and do. It went, 
They, yeah, but what if I went, I'm sorry, Michael, it appears you're on a diet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh that would yeah. be great. Yeah, yeah. we have scanned your awesome. face. Clearly, you want a triple. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just see you molesting a gator? Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. you got nothing. I like the uh, McDonald's in Amsterdam was you order on the glass window before you walk in and then Let me you guess, walk you in. You got a Royale with, with cheese? I did not get a Royale with cheese. Mm. I got chicken nuggies. Okay. <laughs> they were delicious. And Why then, is it that, like, in, in, well, I understand in Japan, but everywhere we go, my kids see McDonald's, they have to eat McDonald's in that country, and most of it's yeah. the same. No. No, 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 it depends on where you are, but Tokyo is, Tokyo is completely different, and you could have a meal in Tokyo. And it so, was delicious, I yeah. bet, because their ingredients yeah. are, oh. My sister-in-law, who is half Filipino, went to the Philippines, and they went to McDonald's there, and they said everything is so tiny. Really? Like uh, the Big Macs, tiny, like really the large bad. drink is the small, yeah. yeah. They said everything's just uh, so little and tiny over there. Oh, lucky. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't have any desire to eat um, McDonald's in any other country. Yeah. I would just want to see what they have different. You know what I mean? It. I ate at McDonald's in Ireland, and it did taste different. Oh, did yeah. it really? Yeah, it oh, did. I'm sure, well, the meat's different. different yeah, yeah. Carmen, I. Uh, I will tell you though, I did not cheat on my diet, but I did have a nice send off on Saturday with two McGriddles. Yeah. Oh, oh so yes. good. <laughs> but so you know what's good. so weird is that all the years I've lived here, what five years in the south, six years. All the years that I get up in the morning and drive to Starbucks, I never, and McDonald's is right next to it, I never go to McDonald's. <laughs> then one day, like in the last couple of weeks, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm doing it. Because yeah. your wife brings them in, and now oh, you have like a taste good. for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. You're 100% yeah. right. Yeah. 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 I know in some right. European McDonald's, the big thing is they, they like crack their eggs right there. So oh, you really? don't get, yeah, oh, like you don't get like the, yeah, yeah. So it's not the like the sous stuff. vide eggs, you know what I mean? I, know. I tell them, take the egg off. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big egg on my McGriddle. Yeah, not a big gay, egg guy on my McGriddles. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Gay, 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 Wow. I have this thing going on with my number one best friend, Bobby Kelly. Where he has to call me ten times in a row, and I have to answer no matter what it is before I can get back in the good graces. Because I always what is this? I kick him the voicemail a lot. And that's, I, that's, I, that's love. Yeah, that's yeah. Fun. Yeah. I made it up to eight oh. yesterday, and then he called me while I was taking a nap. And uh. I woke up and I went no. Because <laughs> now it resets. I have to go back to it. It's hard, right? It's hard that, being his friend. That yeah. is a high maintenance yeah. relationship yeah. with yeah. none of the uh, stuff that should come with a high maintenance yeah, relationship. Thank you. I right. Like, I he's not like getting he, any ass out of the deal. Yeah. I feel like he's molesting you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming here. He's here the first weekend in May. He's at uh, McCurdy's. All right. So he'll be Hell here. Yeah. He'll be here that Friday, and then we uh, are heading down to Sarasota. Uh, maybe I'll see him. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, I have plans. He's oh, and he's not going to like it. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, maybe I see him Friday then, because uh, Saturday I'm going to see you him. Can't, you can't see him Friday. You David's paid. paid. Huh? Oh. You have a gig Friday. Oh, we do. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, so no Bobby this uh, no Bobby. trip then. Yeah. Ooh. Sorry. No. Gig on Friday. Uh, superior comedian on Saturday. Whoa. 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 What happened? Whoa. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> it's a no Bobby weekend. <laughs> uh, can I tell you I watched that uh, Ryan Gosling Saturday Night Live last night? Yeah. yeah. I was not I like him. Yeah. yeah but he, that Beavis and Butthead thing, they looked good, but I wasn't laughing like everybody else was laughing. <laughs> was, I thought it was good. It was pretty funny. The reaction to this is the fir- first I'm hearing of this. <laughs> yeah. Whatever in the way he did it. Plus also, uh, what's his name? Always makes me laugh. Uh, what's his name? That's been on there forever. Oh, oh Keenan uh, Thompson. Yeah, Keenan Thompson. Yeah, yeah but Keenan Thompson does the same. Like he's just. I know, yeah. I know, but it always makes me laugh. Yeah, it's I his don't face. Know why. It makes me laugh. Yeah. Big Papa, uh, Big Poppy's. Huh? But yeah, I thought I thought it was funny the way they were just like. I, this is the first time hearing of it. He <laughs> right. looks, he's at the guy with the blonde pompadour yeah. right there. <laughs> yes. And the other guy, yeah, I, I, the guy with the exposed gums, I did laugh. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, this is funny. But people are like sending it to me and howling over. That's like, why ah. you don't like it because you, yeah. waited, you yeah. waited too long and everybody told you about it and Oof. then you went and mm. watched it. Mm. I just I'm, watched it random and yeah. I, I laughed. Yeah, I'm surprised Tony didn't send it to you last night at 11 15. Oh, Tony's in Tony. a text at 11 15. So Tony went one step further. Don't send us reels. Don't DM us the different things. I actually wrote on Instagram, if you send me a reel, I hate you. <laughs> and yeah. people sent me more reels than ever. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't send me a reel. Well, he didn't send he didn't direct message me. He texted me <laughs> at 11:15 last night. And you know what it was? Something that I definitely don't know. Very important. Yeah, something that I, there's no way I would know about it. How to count in for rock and roll for Led Zeppelin. For what? the drum beat, yeah, what? how to counter some <laughs> guy, some guitar player was telling a text. By the way, 
<laughs> when I was nine years old, <laughs> I learned that. Yeah. Someone was drinking last night. That yeah. might be true. Yeah. yeah. That might be true. And Calvin will enjoy this. Uh, I, I don't I only forward things to my wife because I know what she wants to see and she sends me things back. I'm, uh, occasionally I'll send one to Pete. If I find one I have to send to Galvin, I will sit there for five minutes and think <laughs> yeah, about, should I send this yeah. to Galvin? Yeah. Should I send this to and Galvin? And normally, it, you, I will send it with an apology. Hey, you've probably <laughs> yes. seen this, so I'm sorry, but check it out. People so. send me reels and go, I know you probably already saw this, so why would you yeah, send it again? That doesn't make any no, sense. I so a guy last night, uh, Bobby, sent me, not Bobby, uh, not Bobby Kelly, but just a random Bobby guy on uh, Instagram, sent me a thing, <clears throat> and it is a picture of a boat in the water near the shore and it's kind of leaning over i got that too and it says who knows this location yeah. so i just wrote back why <laughs> yeah i why? did that too i asked because i'm really curious yeah. about it. like why did you think i want to know that yeah. so he wrote back sorry bro i sent this to everyone i respect you too much to do this to you i'll make a donation to the main society right <laughs> now <laughs> <laughs> that works uh, but i just don't even understand like why what? yeah there's how not even am any i relevancy. involved in the <laughs> Why the boat is it like I? I don't own a boat. Well, wait a second. I don't talk about boats. That might explain a lot of why I get people's things, and I have to write back why too because I might be on the send all list. Oh, I understand well, that. Take okay. me off the send. Yeah, I know, all but right. at least that makes a little bit more yeah. sense now. You know, because yeah. sometimes I write back and I go, "Why would just tell me why you would send me this? Yeah. Why I would want to know about yeah. the, a rabbit in, in <laughs> Ireland somewhere?" And uh, it's just crazy. Oh, crazy man. stuff. I still get limp brisket every yeah. day. Yep. I saw somebody <laughs> send it to me last or this weekend, and I, I almost sent it to you. Yeah, I've been encouraging people. To yeah, send it to you. every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, you guys I, see that? Send that to Gio. Yes. I don't know if he's saw it. He hasn't seen it yet. It's very yeah. funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, that's the show, folks. All, All right. right. Great. Yeah. See you guys later. Turn Carmen. Yes. What are you doing? What? I don't know. Make yourself a little louder, please. Okay. Hello? You know, for some Hello. reason, the connection oh. was a little weird. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Now I just feel like I'm too loud. <laughs> uh, no, it's perfect. Oh. Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Uh, um, mm -hmm. I've already run out of stuff to talk about. Oh, no. Okay. Man. You want me to turn my hat forward? Or? I actually had a... <laughs> 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 what? That's <was> confusing <laughs> me. I actually had a list of things. You want to hear them? Yeah. Bobby called me 10 times. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got one. I skipped one. Oh. I am afraid to ask you this because I love the way I feel right now, but <laughs> I feel like you guys are going to go, no. Is there a new Star Wars movie coming out about Darth Vader? Oh. Uh, uh, Vader, a Star Wars movie? No. God damn. I know. There's, a, dreamed it. there's a trailer. No, I watched a trailer for it and I could I couldn't tell if it was fake or not. It looked really good. Well, there's a guy who makes like fan films and I think that may be what you saw. Yeah, it looked really good. Yeah, yeah. He, and he puts a lot of money into it. He's a big YouTube guy. Yeah. And he, mm. he sinks a ton of money into it. And I that's probably what you saw. Okay. Lord Vader, a Star Wars story. Yeah. yeah. Teaser trailer, Lucasfilm. Yeah, yeah. This, but this is uh Yes, but that's not far off because they were supposed to do a whole Sith series uh, yeah, that they nixed. Wouldn't you be interested in the rehabilitation of of Darth Vader oh, and, yeah. and putting on the, uh, the and how he became so evil? Oh, yeah. yeah, but they did that in the Obi Wan series and it stunk. Oh really? Yeah, that was on Disney Plus. But wait, Hayden Christensen was in that a lot or no? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. I gotta watch that. Then. He should have a bunch. Did he look considerably older? Yes. And burnt. Well, yeah. Probably burnt. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, in one uh, spoiler, one scene, they, they, the lightsaber hits the helmet and sm slashes it open. You can see him inside, and that, uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it, I would go just watch that one scene and then skip yeah, the rest then of the show. The <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube. I'll send it to you. Yeah. That's pretty uh, badass. Right, yeah, right, right. yeah that, that series really sucked. That really? Obi -Wan. It, yeah. It, yeah. You Dis got all the original actors back, and it still stunk. Uh, yes. Disney ruins everything. Yeah. Uh, they lost oh. me at... at um, Boba Fett? Boba Fett, yeah, yeah, garbage. When Boba Fett was so fat, oh, yeah, they made him a giant pussy. Yeah, yeah. he was like the best villain in Ever. all of Star Wars, and they turned him into a pussy. Yeah, yeah. I remember in the one movie where they made the clones, and you kind of like, well, like, oh, that's what Boba Fett yeah. looks like. And for a second, I was like, cool, not really, because I thought in his head he looked like a squid or something. Yeah. And then I found out he was just some Puerto Rican yeah. dude. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's cool, but that's not what I was expecting. Yeah. And uh, then uh, they all looked like him. And I don't know. I just felt like it should have been better. It sucks. Yeah, it should have been better. out of the Sarlacc pit. Yeah, man. He should be a, more of a badass. I would still go to Star Wars Land with you guys, though. Yo, dude, it's Can we plan sweet. it? I've yeah. never been there. You, it's awesome. Either have I. How have you not been there? 
I, if there was a Pearl Jam land, that would have been there. It's right? super yeah. expensive. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I and, can't bring myself yet so far. Like, you know, to take my family, like five, six grand. Yeah, especially so, if you're buying lightsabers. Yeah. And, you know, it's yeah. expensive. So I'm like, ah, I don't really think it's that worth it. What are the are there rides involved in this thing or just a land? There's like yeah. two rides. What there. are the rides? Uh, one's the Millennium Falcon, yeah, which where Spanish you, went on. Where you drive the Millennium Falcon. It's very frustrating because you like one person steers up and down, the other person steers left and right. Then Is he, it scary? I don't know. Nah. It's uh the video projections. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm in on that one. And then I, the I other one is Do you have to test the seats first? Uh no. no. No, okay, I think yeah, it's it's fat friendly. Good, good. Okay. The guy I follow on, on I watch uh, those two fat girls that test all the seats yeah. at Disney, and I feel so bad for them. But I'm like, thanks for the heads up, ladies. And then I think the other one you you ride in like a cart, and it kind of drives you through the yeah the spaceport. Where I'm mean, not going down like no, that. No, all right, no, no, no. I don't. I only know that I get this information from Fisher and Ann Kelly yeah. when they get to go right. to Star yeah. Wars yeah. Land. <laughs> but that ride is they cool. clearly do a good job yeah, of yeah. explaining it. Because when you walk up, there's a life size Millennium Falcon. And in the like in the cockpit at night, when because everything lights up, you can see like Han Solo will walk by and Princess Leia and Chewbacca. And oh. then on, on the ride, you go through a hangar and they have like life size TIE fighters in there and stuff. So that's I think that's pretty cool. Do you still have to make an appointment to go in there? Uh, I don't know. You, I had to in 2021, I had to. That's why we weren't able to do that or go in the cantina or do the lightsaber because yeah. you have to make an appointment like at six o'clock in the morning. That, yeah, you got to do it day up. Yeah, there was a real weird uh. I don't know when they first opened one part of that park. They were tr there was a sales guy who was trying so hard to get us involved because Disney doesn't want to do anything with us because we say poop and <laughs> talk like real human beings. And um, and all of a sudden they were like, "All right, we got it approved. There's two tickets, and you can go." And I'm like, well, "I'm not going tomorrow." Yeah. They're like, "Yeah, I go tomorrow." And they gave me like, gift cards and all that stuff. I was like, and then and they sent me a nice little swag bag. But I'm like, I, thank you, but I'm not going. I, you can't just tell me yeah. hours before yeah. you have to be in Disney tomorrow. Was it like a Wednesday that they wanted yeah, no, you to go? I, I think it was like a Thursday afternoon that yeah. they gave it all to me to go on Friday after the show. I'm like, uh, yeah. but I do. I would like to go. Like if we could, yeah. if we could sit down and schedule it and get our yeah. tickets and all that stuff. It's, it's a lot of fun, and especially once the sun goes down and they, like I said, they turn all the lights on and all the ships light up and everybody's got their lightsabers. It's pretty sweet. All right, I'm in. Yeah. What's a Disney ticket like? 100. Fifty bucks these days, probably more. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. That's crazy because that's why I haven't. Kids, that's why uh, I haven't gone. Yeah. That's nuts. I do want to go. I haven't gone because my older son doesn't care about it, and my daughter doesn't care about Star Wars. So God. I'm in that weird. Yeah, I don't have a kid to take face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you I mean, still you know, have passes. What's that? Do you still have passes? No, my? not to Disney to Universal. Okay. Yeah, because well, I know you guys used to have passes. Yeah, when the kids were little. I think right. next year Universal's open that brand new park. Yeah, it's got like Super Nintendo Land yeah. and I all know. that stuff. When they so first cool. announced that, I thought that was the dumbest idea ever. And then I went to the one in L.A. Yeah, and it is like a different universe. So is, awesome. You walk in there and you're like, I'm just walked into a different universe. So they're saying the one in Orlando is going to be even bigger than the one in Los Angeles. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I like I walked out of there and I was and I walked back. I felt like I left and went back to real life. I can't wait for Ann Kelly to tell me all about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, going to watch I'm all sorry, the Sorry, okay. I'm sorry I couldn't win a Marconi. What do you want from me? <laughs> Listen, it's okay. It's your fault. We did win an award yesterday. Yes, we did. Yeah. yeah. It's actually one that you can be proud of. We did it, guys. So, um Somebody sent me a text and said, I'm sure you already know, but congratulations on this whatever award. And I went, I don't know, and I don't care. I so don't care about those kind of things. But then when I found out what it was, I was like, okay, that's good. This this award, the Crystal Award, was for uh, stations who give back to the community. And I thought, this actually is a, a very good award to be proud of, because not only do we give back to the community, but it is in in, you know, joint uh work with our listening audience you know we can put on events but if you don't come to it they're failures so between food drives and down the bowl and uh count the family foundation stuff and those little things we do here and there uh they all add up to to a big you know a, a big year for us and to be recognized by that i was actually pretty proud of that one so there you go i will not put that with my uh marconi nomination Ooh. which is <laughs> under the counter over there <laughs> We will. You know what else I heard yesterday? It made me very mad. They give you one Marconi award. It's like a big crystal award if you win. 
And the station has it. And Kelly didn't even get her own award. What? I would right. demand my award. Mm. I would well, say, I give would me ima- my award. Yeah. I imagine you have it there. It is you in know. The, it's in the ca- display case. Right, display case. And then if she leaves, she just busts it with her hand yeah. and takes <laughs> it out of there. Right? Uh, they should make it like the Stanley Cup. You get it for like a week. And you yeah. Take whatever you want. Yeah. Pass it around. Yeah. Take some photos. I'm telling you right now, if I ever won that award... Actually, I wouldn't care. But I would say if I wanted that award, I would uh, take it and I'd go, you want it? You cheap bastards, make yourself a copy. And keep the, I'm keeping the original. You guys keep the copy. So, yeah. that's, I, I, I mean, she was she was very happy when she won that award. Mm-hmm. And I was very happy for her. She said it was the second happiest day of her life. I was like, I don't even care. Yeah. So, I guess what if I would have won. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? What was the first? You didn't ask her? The day that she dyed her hair red. Oh, oh perfect. No, I don't. That, that I is no, not that. She did not say it to me. She said it to somebody. I, I, I was talking to Keith, and I said, uh, I'm glad Aunt Kelly won. She deserved it. She's been you know, doing this for a long time. And he said, she's very happy. She said it was the second best day of her life. And I went, well, good for her. Yeah. That's great. I, I, w- I would have probably said, well, what's, what's the first? The first? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what, what do we got? And how much different is it than the second? <laughs> like, she's like, the first is when we save three drowning kids. Right, and, yeah. And then the second is the <laughs> stupid award. <laughs> When Joe accepted my 15-year anniversary certificate mm. at Cox, that was like the seventh or eighth best day of my life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. really? Yeah. Was I was glad stuff. to be there for you. That was good stuff. Don't worry, Joe. I booed him the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he did. I will get an 18-year uh, award coming up this year. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to that either. No. Yeah, my, no, 17, that. my 17th passed, and I don't know when the next luncheon is. I know that they sent an email out a while ago, and then they pushed it back and stuff. And I'm like, well, yeah. I'm not going yeah. But you get like a certificate for 5, 10, 15, you, 20. You do. They give us one for every year we're here. Yeah. They love okay. us so much. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Galvin was bitching about not getting one last year. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so I'm they pretty did, nobody, sure they do Nobody had said anything at all. Yeah. yeah. How oh, many years happened. was it? This, it was 17 in February. And nobody said, oh, so maybe it's, Wow. No, we, this year, uh, Brian Kelly did text me. Oh. Oh. And uh, I think that was it. All right. Thank you, Brian. Yeah. We used to get, like, e- there used to be a website you go oh, pick yeah. a prize. I yeah. remember Mike got a uh, wine decanter and smashed it on the floor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Not on purpose. No. no. I dropped it, it in my driveway. Like it on purpose. <laughs> they, they don't <laughs> do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah got I got smashed. some uh, uh, wireless uh, earbuds. Yeah. Uh, and I had got something else. Yeah. There was some decent, like, prizes on there. Yeah. Well, if you go to uh, Cox in Atlanta, they got a whole store. Mm. They got like a whole big store you can walk in and buy cock stuff. Wow, I don't know who's doing well, I that. I don't want yeah. cock stuff, no, but I, you know. But they had like uh, sweatshirts and t-shirts and uh, bags, tote bags, and duffel bags and all that. And I go, well, you got to really be proud to work here to go yeah. buy this stuff. <laughs> who wants a blue bag with a CMG logo on it? Yeah. You know who gets that stuff? Interns and uh, it's, the, uh, it's the opposite. It's the very high up people <laughs> yeah. and the very low people. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. I work for CMG. Yeah. yeah. And then the old one's like, I got to represent. Yeah. I mean, one of them tote bags they probably don't have to pay for. And then we get backpacks for Christmas. I don't mind that. Those backpacks yeah. are awesome. Yeah. And, then, and they're also good bug out bags. You fill them and you store them and you leave them when you got to go. You grab it. It's my PlayStation bag. It's how, where okay. I put my PlayStation So you're you utilizing know, it. Don't be don't yeah. complain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying for Christmas, you know. Seems like you're complaining. <laughs> I I gotta tell you, most of the years this company has given us good Christmas gifts. Mm-hmm. I miss the phone chargers, the portable the, phone chargers. The year they gave the phone chargers, I, I remember our, our, our boss at the time was like, yeah, I don't know. I go, actually, that's a good gift. Yeah. Everybody's gonna use it. Yeah, I did use Come that. On now. When's the last time you used it though? Oh, I lost it. it broke. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I did use it when I got it. Yeah. Uh, I just went through my emails, and it seems like there is a luncheon coming up, and oh. it says there will be several special guests oh. in attendance. Please be sure to make them feel welcome. When is that? Is that uh, you? Are you the special guest? Maybe. I don't know. Nobody's <laughs> telling me. That. When is that? Uh, this says this is uh, the 25th. Oh, man. Oh, I can't make it. So there you go. I'm out. Yeah. It's your bro. It's bring your daughter to work day. <laughs> oh. Ugh. I never did that. I never brought my kids ever. <laughs> that was a, ugh. Yeah. You know, uh, I don't. Th- I think I did when Joey was really little. Like they did a little thing. Yeah, we did. I remember because I brought my son and you, right? And then they have the picture together of all. Oh them. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, that was that was uh, the last time I think my daughter doesn't have any interest. No, in anything that I do <laughs> until she goes to meet Benson Boone on Friday. Oh, she's excited. Yeah, you got to help me out. I need a recorder. All right. Mm. What do I use for that? What do you mean? Like they a have zoom? a zoom, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean I go, you had to help me out. You gotta get a recorder. You go, all right, like what do you use for that? You go, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I mean what like you recorder. Mean? You mean like video or you recorder is just kind of vague. Oh, there'll be no video. So here's yeah. the thing. All right. Here's the thing. <laughs> the the audio the interview is going to be 
um, done in person, like probably on a tour bus or in a, in a room or something like that, right? And I know to, I know if Bobby Kelly was here, he'd be like, dude, take that camera that you bought. Is that camera still over there? It's at my house charging right now. Oh, oh, yeah, but he's going to say, here. take that camera, you put it down, <laughs> and it follows your faces as you talk. It, may, it goes back and forth. I'll never be able to set that up. <laughs> I don't know how to do any of that. Because I'd rather just, I'm not going to play the interview probably on the air. I'm probably just going to put it on YouTube. Okay. You just made Joe panic that he has to take that camera off of eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, where uh, is that camera? In my house. He's yeah. like at five bidders. Yeah. We where were using it. We were using it this weekend uh, for the uh, uh, YouTube stuff with uh, Miller in Spanish. So it's charging like right that. now. For what? For uh, Miller in Spanish. The YouTube stuff that we're shooting. Stuff not. Did, is it on show. YouTube? It will be this weekend. Okay, We're going to stream good. live. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And did it work well? It did. Okay. We tested it this weekend and it did work well. All right. Yeah. So you far. you believe that, Mike? Oh, I, I choose yeah. to sucker. go with. <laughs> you said sucker for the for the record yeah, with an S. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> then how was it? It was good. It was good, but uh, we're going to have to authorize and stream directly to YouTube, which we're already set up and ready to do. Okay. So Saturday is the day. So let me ask you. Oh, so the one you taped already isn't going anywhere? Yeah, we, we were taping it just to see how it's going to look, check out framing, see what the audio is going to be And what is like. this show about? <laughs> Spanish? Yeah. Sad weirdo stuff. I was going to say, you got old cancer face That's over right. there. Yeah. And old, <laughs> yeah. and old uh, cancer survivor face. And and you with your and, sad world of sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you just bringing the after show down with your sadness. No, not at all. Oh, did you or did you not say yesterday on the show, and I love, I love big? Yeah, for sure. I've oh, said weird. that here before. Oof. Yeah, don't say that. I, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, but don't, you don't have to say it. Oh, I'm saying it. You know what I like to do? I like to bite the skin on my toe sometimes, but I'm not going to tell you guys about what it. What do you oh. mean? Like when you bring your toe up to your mouth? That's I'm very good. flexible. That is incredible. Some guys said You should tell people that. You bite the skin with your teeth? Oh. Uh, no, like I had a thing that I couldn't get off, and I just picked my tie and uh, pulled oh, it wow. off. But that's not something I would normally share <laughs> right. with you. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to tell it on the air, of course, to turn people off. To yeah, them. oh, they love. So you guy. don't understand spirituality. You have to tell everybody yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Yeah, no, everybody's so, spiritual. Some guy commented yeah. on my fall. He yeah. goes, "How many times have you said you're the most athletic fat guy?" You know, I said, "No, no, no, no." I said, I'm the most flexible fat guy. <laughs> There's nothing athletic about it. <laughs> clearly. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Mm -hmm. It's weird how the, the comments are turning. They first went, I hope you're okay, to, God, that was pretty funny, to, you're just fat and stupid. And I'm <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah. all right. All right. And the guy's like, I, I mean, there's a bunch of guys that are like, that's what happens when you're, when you're fat. And I went, what, you trip over your flip-flop? I mean, that's why I fell, my flip-flop trip. <laughs> now, I don't know if I was skinnier, if I would have been able to pirouette out of that a little bit more gracefully Doubt it. but uh either way i was falling because my flip-flop <laughs> well but. but the inertia definitely is involved in that and sure so the mass with the inertia and stuff and everything right, yeah. thanks einstein yeah. i get you <laughs> you were asking uh, i answered yeah, yeah. Double <laughs> don't you chime in now <laughs> don't molest me just get into the con sometimes i think carmen leaves the comments under different names yeah oh, <laughs> sure anonymous poster mm, yeah love your boss uh -huh. <laughs> i don't care that much uh, oh worse wow. all right let's take a break we got sporkle when we come back to carmen i'll tell you what we have to give away it's the mike calta show this is 1025 the bone yes michael I got an uh, interesting text during the break that said, you speak the truth. Oh. The camera is uh, fully functional and operating, and that you used it this weekend. That is correct. Once Miller showed you how to use it. Oh, well, listen. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Video I'm gonna, guy. I'm going to tell you right now. That <laughs> the, the instruction manual looks like it was made for a five-inch tall person because it, the, it's very the, small. You can't, I can hardly see it. I understand. Old people. Yeah, yeah. Old. Yeah. Also, that Saturday may not have been the best day because I think Joe may have still been drunk from Friday. Oh, gotcha. Might, might have been a little hungover. But we know how to use it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. all now, that counts. Now the, now, the face tracking, I haven't figured out yet, but I do know that that is a feature on there. Yeah, I know it is too, but I don't know how to use it. I Bobby think... knows how to do these things like in two minutes, and then he gets mad at me. He goes, have you ever read a manual in your life? <laughs> no, Bob, I haven't. I only need to use for what I need to use it for. Is this a, crazy. a new camera you guys just got? No, I had it for months. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just never, I don't know what happened to it. It lifts. What are you trying to say? Also, I still don't know where my GoPro is. Also, let me just point out that manual is so small, I can't read it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe go on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And type it in and figure it out because they show everything on there. But I know you're not familiar. With I don't YouTube. know if he has the internet. Or being or video the internet? I never yeah. heard of it. Uh, we have internet. I pay for it. The yeah. World Wide Web. Yeah. Make sure we have it. We Except have internet. for Poor <laughs> Island. Do you, Do you pay uh, for it solo Spanish? Yeah. Why? Oh, 
here we go. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, like, I you guys live together. You don't Does that take off your rent? No. <gasps> oh, no. It's definitely Do you pay the electric bill? No. no. Do you pay the water bill? No. Then shut your goddamn mouth. I didn't but say anything. But you split it? You actually did no, say I it. No, I pay the whole thing. Oh, I said okay. I pay okay. the cable bill. Right. I don't have any problem with that. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Yeah. Carmen just asked why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You love big. Hoping to make me I look do. like a freeloader. I get it. I don't think you're a freeloader. No, no, not you. I do. Oh. Yeah, well, Gio <laughs> definitely does. But Joe, so then Joe has the rent in the uh, the other stuff, you know, the electric and this and that, whatever that he puts into the rent that you pay. Mm-hmm. So that's all figured out. Mm-hmm. But then the cable or the internet, whatever is yeah. the one thing you pay. Damn for. right. And I get the mamma jamma internet. He mm-hmm. does. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. I gotta tell you, I get the Mamma Jamma internet too, and then anytime there's a problem, they're like, do you want to upgrade? And I go, I upgraded yesterday, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Like, the, right? you told me this was the best, best. ever, yeah. and you t- t- figured out something <laughs> since yesterday that's better? I think I, they, liars. A- <laughs> I think they just keep throttling you back until you upgrade, and yeah. then they're like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, see, that I fixed ha- it. I have no idea. Like, you know, I'm not tech savvy, so I have no idea, but they can be like, oh, yeah, 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 you got the best. Meanwhile, I have, you know, what they used to use in the 40s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I have never had a problem. The only problem I had with my internet was that it didn't it didn't reach certain parts of the house, and then Nathan came in and wired it up, and mm-hmm. now I can get yeah. it everywhere yeah, with no problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he what said is, you have the same thing as a hospital has. So yeah, has. yeah. What is that other thing that you and I had talked about? My son got it and set it up. It's something where you had. It's like Deca. It has your own internet thing. I mean, you have internet, but then this boosts everything, and you put it in different rooms. I don't know whether it's a repeater or what it is, but we have that, and it seems to be We used to have Wi-Fi extenders Mm -hmm. where you'd plug them in, and it would just bounce the signal around the house. Not that old, yeah. Now it's all the mesh networks. Yes, so I have a mesh. That's what it is, mesh. Yes, 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 that's what it is. That's what I have here. Mm -hmm. So So, Yeah, so if you aren't radiating your brain enough with the 5G, the mesh network covers all that. Yeah, listen, you know. I mean, (laughs) if I get superpowers, I'm not going to be mad. I don't think superpowers. Why may have the world's greatest back hump? You have no idea. Dude. <laughs> Ever since I was young and we got the science oven, it's been over. We were early on the microwave. Of course you were. Oh, yeah. Yours probably oh, probably operated with the door open. I, I mean, I remember my mom putting the plutonium in the back. You guys didn't have the plutonium one? No. Uh, dude. <laughs> Do you know that I blew up my microwave when I was a kid? No. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, what did you do? Mm-hmm. Dude, it was the day that I had to go take my placement test for high school. My mom was already working, so I got up, and I didn't want to have hunger pains while I was taking my test, so I made oatmeal. Yeah. And I put the teapot inside the uh, inside the microwave. Oh, right. Metal teapot? Oh, no. Metal teapot. I didn't oh. know. Yeah. And it was a wooden handle, so the sparks flew off the teapot onto the handle and the handle caught fire and burnt oh, no. the microwave. And then we continued to use that microwave with a hole in it for the next five years. <laughs> so when I was younger, two of my, uh, my brother Tim, two of his friends, one owned a deck building business and the other one owned a car detailing shop. They went in together on a pizza place that I worked at and neither one of them knew anything about restaurants or pizza places or anything. And the one guy is Neil Napersack was the kid's name. <laughs> and he had red hair and he talked like this, Neil Nappersack. Neil Nappersack. <laughs> and so he would come into the uh, uh, restaurant and stuff, and he would make his own stuff, and he put Alfredo sauce in the microwave with the spoon still in the oh, thing. Oh, no. And I go, Neil, oh, I go, you can't put metal in the <gasps> microwave. This is what he threw to me. He goes, it's a commercial microwave. It's oh. totally different. <laughs> uh, why does he talk like April Macy? <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's how he talked. And so he hits it, yeah. weird science, yeah. and he goes, ah, and then it opens the door and stuff, and I go, yeah, it's a microwave. A commercial There's microwave. No, no difference between residential uh, or commercial yeah. microwave. <laughs> By the way, he's the same one. He's the same one with the uh, temperature okay. thing. That's uh, my favorite story of all time, dude. So pizza ovens get up to like 800 <laughs> degrees or more if yeah. you leave it closed and stuff, and he wanted to make sure that it was at the right temperature. It's supposed to be between like six and 800 or something. So there was this stand-up up thermometer oh, no. that he put in the microwave or that he put in the uh, oven the pizza oven uh, and he opens the door and goes to reach with with his bare hand uh, and I go like this I go uh, mm, no. let's see what happens <laughs> he grabs it looks at it for a second the heat goes to his brain uh, and he goes Ah, and just whips it across the room, and I'm bu- buckled over oh. laughing. I go, "What did you think was going to happen?" He goes, "It's made out of aluminum," and I go, 
not aluminum foil. (laughs) (laughs) That's still metal that conducts heat. Oh, Oh, what an idiot he was. Oh, Napersack. And he'd always do this, too. (laughs) He'd always do this with his hand. Neil Napersack. And he, uh, we'd have parties at our house, and Tim would put him at the door, and he'd go, uh, he'd charge everybody five bucks, and he goes, you, uh, five bucks. Get, there was a kid with a Megadeth shirt, and he goes, Megadeth, ten bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I miss old Neil Nambersack. Rest, Neil in, rest in peace, Nambersack. Yeah. Yeah. No, he didn't die. Oh, no. No. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Uh, Carmen, what are we giving away today? <laughs> we have a bunch of stuff. We have tickets for Don Felder. Don Art- Felder, who will be on the show with us on uh, Thursday or Friday, one day this week. Heart and Cheap Trick. Sunfest. Bad Religion, Stone Temple Pilots, Brett Michaels, Party Gras, and Aerosmith. All right, let's do it right now. A little bit of sparkle. Here we go. <laughs> Carmen is the keeper of sparkle. Pap Pap is your judge, scorekeeper, camera operator, mm-hmm. and manual reader. Yeah. 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 Uh, Carmen, what are we playing today? Okay, today we're going to be playing N's in G. I'm going to give you a clue. You're going to give me. The word that ends in G. All right. right. Okay. Very straightforward. 220 yards. 220 yards. Ends in G. Long. <laughs> League. No, that doesn't end in G. No. Furlong. Furlong. Is what oh, I was furlong. Uh, how do you not have a Terminator? Right? Yeah. Edward. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make the quiz. I'm just bringing it to you. A two step jazz couples dance. Jig. Swing. Oh, I know what it is. Damn it. A two step jazz couples dance. Oh, well. Let me answer whenever you get it wrong. <laughs> Can I go? Yeah. Jitterbug. That is what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, no point. It's a great no phone, point. by the way. To what? It's a good phone to have. <laughs> a jitterbug. Oh, that was your old phone. Yeah. yeah. Um, an often salted or smoked fish. An often salted or smoked fish. Ends in G. Kaj. <laughs> smoked. You felt the, the herring. <laughs> herring. Uh, you pickle a herring. Yeah. You don't smoke it. Yeah. Hey, Joe, what was the name of your phone? The Jitterbug. It was Cricket. Yeah. No, no, they had the Jitterbug too. <laughs> oh man, it had, it had giant numbers. You couldn't on even it. afford Cricket. You had to go to Jitterbug. <laughs> I had to go to Jitterbug. <laughs> All right, my bad. Uh, you know why you do not smoke herring? Hard to like. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> <laughs> Six and nine. Hell yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, Hell not yeah. for that one. All right, your next one. Baseball's Iron Man, Gary. Lou. Yeah. Mike Calta. Capital of China. Hong Kong. Beijing. 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 Galvin. No, that was uh, Gio. I answered first. Gio gets the point. Integrity. Thank you. Yes. Integrity. Yes. Integrity. Strong on the show. <laughs> Easily combustible material for fire starting. Kindling. Geo, speak Ooh, up a little bit. Yeah. Kid was a boy scout. Put a bass over in here. your voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Favorite. Said, Put a bass in your voice. Yeah, I can't hear him. Kindling. Kindling. <laughs> yeah. Kindling. Favorite or darling loved? Dearly loved. Sorry. Oh, I darling. Darling. Yeah. Sorry. No <laughs> point. No, no point. I'm sorry. No point. That's my point. That's my fault. A little, little, little. A little less bass in your voice. Man. Yeah. <laughs> It dangles from a lobe. Earring. Geo. Now disgraced cyclist Lance Armstrong. G- uh, Galvin. Part of a baseball game. Inning. Inning. Mike Kelta. Possibly suicidal rodent. Possibly suicidal rodent. I know this. Cool. Good. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Rat King. <laughs> Lemming. Yes. Uh, Pat Pat. suicidal? On the board. Because back in, back in the uh, 40s or 50s, uh, Disney did a documentary, and they threw a bunch of uh, these rodents off of a cliff, and they said they committed suicide <laughs> during... <laughs> During their migration. <laughs> That's funny. And it was later exposed as a hoax. I got gotcha. you. Oh, Thank you. You're the worst. Um, and Pep Pep. That's the most knowledge he's ever had. <laughs> <laughs> we are halfway there. 
Spanish is not on the board. He has a total of zero. Galvin with a single point. Michael doubling that with two. And Gio, he is your surprising leader today. He's winning with three. Eat me. <laughs> oh, my jeez. Put some bass in the voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, N's and G. Your next one, a crowd of people. Gathering. Gathering. A crowd of people. Meeting. No. Nope. Big grouping. Mob. G <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was looking for throng. <laughs> throng. All right. Throng. From Star Wars? Throng, 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 throng. <laughs> Two throngs don't make it right. <laughs> a loose melee wrapped garment. Sarong. Mike Kelta. River in southern Vietnam. Penang. What'd you say? Penang. Zhang. <laughs> Viet Cong. <laughs> Viet River. Dang. Mekong. Uh, Mekong. Uh, That's a delta. That is close. what I was looking for. A marked increase or improvement. A marked increase or improvement. Ends in G. Bettering. <laughs> Growing. Showing. <laughs> Towing. <laughs> what? Upswing. Uh, boo. A part of an electrical plug. The prong? Yeah. Geo. What the hell is this going on with Geo? <laughs> That's it. An edible clam type. An edible clam type. Ends in G. <laughs> Plog. <laughs> yes. Oh. <Mike. laughs> Family guy. What are you yeah. laughing at? Geo. He looks like a meerkat right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're living. Uh, your next one. An often sweet German wine. An often sweet German wine. I feel like Joe knows this. Mm. I do. I do know this. Ends in G. Glockenspiels. Uh, Riesling. Yes. Uh, Riesling. Joe, on the board. Again. No. no. <laughs> yeah. Two. Loser. Tight Spanish. <laughs> yeah. He's beating me. Like a shape stretched in one direction. Oblong. Oblong. Galvin and that. Pap Pap, we're on the last three. <sighs> Spanish is not on the board. He has zero. Galvin with two points. Michael and Gio are both oh, tied. Man. They have four. Mm. All right. Pressure on. Still get you. Good game. <clears throat> Ends in G. Last three. Here we go. Incorrect. Wrong. Wrong. Galvin. Nada. Nil. Nothing. Zip. Mike. Good one. And your last one. Not very old. Young. Young. Mike Calta. Yeah. Mm. Tied it up? Tied it up? No. no or, one? Oh, okay. I, I won. Yeah. I won, Carmen. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Excuse me. That's yeah, cool. Who Your final excused? score, Spanish with zero, Galvin with three points, Gio with four, and Michael is your triumphant champion today. He won with six. Isn't there some sort of rule that if I blank you no. just the day after you won the thing? No. But he no, doubled you yesterday yeah. and canceled your rule. There was no rule, rule though, so... There was a rule. You did have a rule. It was we like were right, yeah. we were running for yeah. it. We're singing Love Boat, so there's no yeah. rule. Correct. No. And who's a champ? You Wait, have you, one. one of your next three. Okay. I like it. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just had to get it all straightened out. Is that Godzilla? Okay. Uh, all right, Calvin. What do we have coming up in news? Coming up in news today, Smelly Sheep, Snaked and Dangerous, and Scissor Sisters. Oh, hot. Oh. Hot. Okay, oh. let's take a quick break and get right into that. Galvin has your news. We'll do that next on 1025 The Bone. All right, time to check in with Galvin. He has today's news. And now, news with Galvin on The Mike Calter Show. 
do we have in news today, Galvin? Today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. If you're getting down with the pickleball, well, Pelt's has some stuff for you. They got the uh, pickleball shoes. They got the best uh, on the market out there. Uh, Skechers, New Balance, K-Swiss, Asics. Carmen, do you have special pickleball shoes or no? She just no. wears pickles. <laughs> yeah, no, I just wear my ultras. Yeah. Yeah, right, but I well, love my ultras. Well, I, they have them right there at Pelts. They are very comfortable, and they have all the different uh, pickleball type shoes you need, or any court shoes, athletic shoes, walking shoes. They've got boots, they've got sandals, they got the Hey Dudes that everybody loves. They have the Ufos recovery sandals, which uh, I'm careful. wearing those right now. Be careful yeah. when you're walking in yeah. those. Yeah. Uh, Pelts has six locations throughout Pinellas, Sarasota, and Fort Myers. Stop into a Pelts today and make sure you tell them Galvin from the Mike Kelta Show sent you. Uh, senators are expected to square off today, largely along party lines over whether to proceed with a full-scale trial of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas uh, over his handling of immigration policy and uh, and the southern border. House GOP managers delivered two articles of impeachment against him on Tuesday, and the uh, next step in the proceedings calls for senators to be sworn in as jurors sitting as a court of impeachment this afternoon at 1 p.m., That's but crazy. after the senators take oath, how things go from there is somewhat of an open question. It's going to be interesting. I read a story this morning in uh, out of New York where they are, I mean, <laughs> it's out of hand. They are now moving a school so that they can uh, use the old school to house immigrants in the school in the school they're like moving kids out of their school yeah. so they could use I mean no it's it, it's sense. getting insane. And look, I I'm also I feel bad for these immigrants because they're um you know they're just being used. They're pawns, and they're also they're human beings. They they should be treated with a certain amount of respect and dignity. But wherever they live, you know what I mean. Like I don't, I, don't, I we can't fix everybody's problems. We can't. It's making things worse for the people here. So I I definitely feel like you know something needs to be done uh, on the border and how we're welcoming all these people and that we have no place to put them, that we're displacing kids from school is insane. The fact that we're doing all of this stuff, and listen, everybody's human, I get that, and all that type of stuff, but the fact that we're doing all this stuff and so many of our veterans are homeless yeah. and don't have proper medical care and stuff, just blows I, my I, mind. I, it's not even, Galvin, it's not even, I, I hate that I even know this because it, it's just awful, but how many kids are homeless? Yeah. How many, my wife would tell me when she worked at the at the girl school she would tell me that there were kids in the school whose family lived in their cars mm. and they would go like park at a beach and they would live at the car and they would use the grill at the beach like the ones that they they leave the in the shower yeah the there, shower yeah. i mean it's just it's heartbreaking for these kids these american kids who nobody else seems to care about yeah, yeah. it's wild it's wild you know and whenever you say america first people think you're the worst oh boo boo but meanwhile anything that happens hey america aren't you yeah. gonna do anything are but you it, gonna help you it know? should be uh america first and in in uh uh, you know, London, it should be uh, England first. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, take care of yourself first before you move out, not just America. But yeah. these people are guaranteed voters for whatever side oh, you're giving them. We know why. Yeah. We know why. That's nice. It's just, it's insane. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, Bob Graham, former senator, Florida Democratic governor, and one time presidential candidate, has died at 87, his uh, family announced on Tuesday nights. No points. No points yeah. for Bob Graham. No point. No. I forgot that Bob Graham was governor. Yeah. Yeah, I can't keep track of this, though. Thank <laughs> uh, God for Google. Another one, no points, but was picked before, I believe. Whitey Herzog. I thought he was on the list. No, I didn't. I looked through. I did not see him on there. I think Tony had him before. I think Tony has him now. Does he? I believe so. I yes. looked through and I did not see it. If somebody I, can double check on that. I did not look through. I just, uh, I thought in my head somebody had him. I thought it was Gio. Uh, Whitey Herzog, a baseball manager everybody knows. Uh, <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals. <laughs> Hall of Fame <laughs> manager and former you. Major League Baseball player has died. Uh, the Cardinals franchise announced on Tuesday. Uh, he was 92 years old. Yeah, uh, he had a good life. 68 points for mm. Tony Burton. Oh, he does have him. Yeah. Yes. I scrolled through because hey, here's the thing is I can't get on that terrible terrible website that we that, uh, shows dead people and stuff on uh the uh cox computer and stuff so i have to do it on my phone and i didn't see so so what is the uh what does that move the standings to i mean the whole thing is rigged anyway so oh, that doesn't really yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. real quick real quick whitey herzog hall of fame uh, baseball hall of fame player and manager uh, big difference from so is mike, mike martin 
Mike Martin's not a Hall of Fame player. Well, he's in the college. Uh, college, 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 college yeah. We've gotta, done we've done college football in the past. College football is different than it's college not, baseball. It's not. It's one hundred percent. What do you what do you think? Uh, who do you think are more making more money? College baseball players or college football? So players? money monetary is yes. what we're judging yes. for people. It's same way, uh, like what, would you call a third string WNBA basketball player uh, a star for this? There's there's two people who who there's Lisa Leslie. <laughs> And Caitlin Cook and one other lady that if they died in the NBA, they'd be worth points. W. Brittany Griner. Yeah, Brittany Griner. Or maybe four. And now Clark. Right. It was what I say. Cook and yeah. Clark. Yeah. Angela Reese. Whoever that oh, is. Yeah. Angel. Uh, the LSU one. That, uh, oh, yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. I'll take two yeah. new ones <laughs> and three old ones. <laughs> we can keep and that's it. It was covered everywhere. Mm, yeah. In mm, Florida. No, no, it was on TMZ. It was on Fox News. It was in CNN. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. I, I say we give it to him. <laughs> it was everywhere. Too late now. Oh, okay. Well, Do you want sorry, the standings? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a screw job. So in last place with no points, you have Joe and Ian Beckles. Mm. Okay. Then in sixth place, you have Gio with only 61 points. I'm not playing. Then <laughs> you're playing. I'm not playing. Ahead of Gio, only by two points, is Carmen with 63 points. Sucker. Now <laughs> in fourth place, Tony Burton with 68 points. Tight. Galvin is in third place with 74 points. Tight. Michael, you're in second place with 98 points. Jumped a level. And I'm in the lead with 134 points. Jumped. I made an emergency pick mm-hmm. while we were on the cruise. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I made an emergency pick last night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they both go through? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I don't know about last night. I did it late last night. And who are these people? I picked Colt Ford. Okay. The fat country rapper. We know. He had a heart attack. Oh, really? And they said he was not doing well. Okay. And I had some inside information said that he had been moved to ICU and he was not doing well. I'm assuming everybody agrees on Colt Ford. We all know Colt Ford. Yes. yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Of course. Uh, just making sure. He's yeah. not a baseball player. Gio probably says no. <laughs> Gio, Colt Ford. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's uh, fair okay. and balanced. I mean, you guys are the ones that aren't fair and balanced. Fair. I, I, I'm said, the one, I yeah. said we should give it to you. I'm the one, to you. I'm the one trying today. to play fairly. You are the ones that are rigging the game gotcha. to gotcha. make me lose. Who is the other guy? Uh, the other guy is uh, Dickie Betts. Oh, Dickie Betts, yeah. Who I heard yeah. is not doing well. Brothers, yeah. Yeah. So, Hall of Famer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 rock and yeah. roll Hall of Fame. He's got to be up there. How old is Dickie? Bates? I don't really know. I just heard he uh, was moved to hospice. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. How is Ron Jeremy still alive? <laughs> I don't he's know. Not, I don't think he was. Jail. Yeah, I, he's losing his mind. I don't think he was like. Yeah, right. You he can die insane. from dementia. True. Oh, yeah. Certainly. Uh, Dickie Betts is eighty years old. Eighty he's years old. old. Yeah. But I heard he's heard he's in the hospice though. Well, also he's eighty years in rock star yeah, years. That's, that's a lot different, you know. Well, yeah, but sometimes it makes you a little bit more. Indestructible. That's true. In, robust. Like Keith Richards. That yeah, robust. Like robust. Joe. That's right. Joe's robust. Mm-hmm. Joe's Joe's blood is still eighty percent gin. Probably Friday. Yeah. Went a little nip. No. He. It's weird that like the idea of it of being that drunk is making me nauseous. Yeah. And Joe is still like <sighs> his no was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was like one. It's called alcoholism. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Is it though? If it was, then he'd have a little cup over there, and he yeah, he does. Sipping. He drinks every day. I'm That's not drinking right now. Do you drink every day? Uh, there you go. Mostly. Yeah. yeah. Not, not while you're here, though. No. No, usually not at work unless uh, only, on, only upon request. Mm-hmm. We're requesting. That's lies. No, no you're or not after requesting. the show. The minute Mike leaves the studio after the show, Joe walks over to the bar and takes a shot. Well, sometimes let me, that let does me ask happen. this: not necessarily alcohol, but are you uh, impaired in any other way during the show? No, I do not oh. smoke weed before this show, nor during. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Maybe you what should. Are those, what are those uh, clouds you're chucking out there? Those are that's just straight nicotine, baby. Uh, well, nicotine's a drug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just, Why? Got, you just got lawyers. <laughs> you just got lawyers. <laughs> right. Right. Idiot. Right. Maybe we should have you smoke weed before the show. Maybe you'd be don't. a little bit more. Oh, I mean, no? listen, Michael, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> I know people who who smoke weed and work out. Yeah, yeah that's different like, though. Yeah, it is. Sativa, right? Yeah. The sativa is the one that gets you a little more yeah, like, energy. And you stuff. don't want to, uh, because here you have to you know, contribute to conversation. It's a little different than just not talking and just lifting weights. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of times I assume you're high when you talk, the way nah. you say things. Mm-mm. Does sativa make you a little 
up, yeah, it's an upper. It's the upper. Yeah, but of the what, two. what, with the uh, speaking and stuff, does it make you kind of slower still, or no? No, nah, but I, I, everybody's different. I know, mm. like when when Joe and I hang out, when we do smoke, both of us have a harder time communicating, understanding clearly. each other, yeah. communicating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, like thoughts take a little bit longer to get out. You don't want to have that in the middle of a radio show. No. So I don't know who it was, and it may have been on the cruise. Somebody. My wife likes cider, like she'll drink cider sometimes. Yeah. And they said, put a shot of fireball oh. in there. Oh, no. Ooh. And oh, so sorry. she did that. And yeah, she really liked it. But now she's drinking a cider, which is stronger than beer. And then a shot in there, whatever. And she has her medical marijuana card. Yeah, and I in. go, hey, Cheech and Chong. Yeah. <laughs> slow, slow it down. <laughs> Tap the brakes. What's going on? Uh, What's yeah. happening over here? All gas, Cheech no brakes. Uh, so you have a couple different uh, deaths there. You got Bob Graham and Whitey Herzog. And uh, Tony did get points there for Whitey Herzog. Cool. Another guy who just recently <laughs> died, OJ Simpson, the executor of his estate, says he will work with the Brown and Goldman families to help settle their claims. But there might not be much money to go around. Sure. OJ didn't have any money. Couldn't yeah. make any money towards the last couple of years. Yeah. So what was he going to do? But he still has his Heisman, didn't he? Didn't he get it back? Isn't that well, what he wanted us to go out Legally, with? he got it back. Yeah. So I don't know whether he got to keep that or not. Just because you steal it back doesn't make it yours. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what the uh, situation is there. But I would imagine if they auction off, people would definitely want OJ stuff. Yeah, I'm sure he had a lot of memorabilia. Too, yeah. Yeah. Well, the one guy selling the Bronco. The Bronco, yeah. yeah. The Bronco. Mm -hmm. Wants money for that. Uh, your Tampa Bay Lightning will face the Florida Panthers. Spanish. Yeah. In the Eastern Conference first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, the Panthers are 52, 24, and 6. Uh, will finish first in the Atlantic Division. They'll have home ice and advantage of the uh, best of seven series lightning who are 44 29 and eight will finish as the first wild card from the east florida and tampa bay uh, played three times in the regular season with the panthers winning the first two and the lightning winning the last meetup uh playoffs begin on saturday yeah Papa Why do I feel like nobody cares as much as they used to i do do you? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, the games I, are still sold out. I mean, I'm I'm watching all the time, and I go whenever I can and stuff. But I'll tell you that uh, it was kind of a toss up what it was going to be, whether it was going to be the uh, Lightning against the Panthers or the Bruins. And either way, the Panthers play us tough, yeah. the Bruins play us tough. But yeah. the last couple meetings, we've been doing better. So hopefully, uh, you know, once we got into the playoffs, we had the playoff berth and stuff. It seems like the last couple games. I, I don't know if they've been trying as hard, yeah. you know, so hopefully now with the playoffs, they're like, all right, this We're is well real. Rested. Yeah, yeah, this is real. This is what we got to do. I got to right. tell you, we've got some great players uh, that Duclair that they got is really, really good. Uh, Asamon is really good. There's a few different guys on there. Newer guys, you know, obviously good. like we have Hedman and Stamkos who have been there forever and stuff. And then you got uh, Kucherov, who's unbelievable. I do think that the, probably the, uh, the fan base is getting a little spoiled because we've had so, so many much victory yeah. in the playoffs. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's just kind of expected now. Yeah, and if you don't advance, it's like, well, what's going on? Yeah. What, are we, what are we doing? Stanley Cup or bust every year, yeah. which is good. It's a good problem to have. Uh, this sounds like something good. Carmen, you'll definitely be interested. Spanish, probably you too, and really all of us. Uh, Saigon Night Market and Friday Night Me Mega Market are teaming up for another huge food fest in oh, St. Pete. Oh, oh, oh. Hell I'm yeah. interested in this yeah, too. Right? I said probably all of us. Uh, the next event is set for April 26th through the 28th with tons of incredible Asian street food vendors to try. An array of craft vendors will also be hand selling uh, unique gifts for attendees to take home. Uh, it takes place from 5 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. each night, uh, 855 28th Street South. Uh, entry to the event is totally free. Uh, GL? You'll be interested in this one. St. Pete Distillery crafted beverages will oh. be available on site. Plus, there's going to be live music performances uh, through the weekend. So you want to go get some good Asian street food. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Wang Halen's playing. <laughs> the Van yeah. Halen cover band. <laughs> Asian Van Halen cover oh, for band. sure. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> I, I would like that. I mean, I love uh, Asian Let's go. street food. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes you don't want to see it all. But yeah. you want to eat it all. Have you ever been to the Thai temple when they do their food? I want to do no, that. It's read so about bad. Yeah. It is a blast. And the so food good. is so good. And it's re it's relatively inexpensive. That's a thing. And it's really delicious. Uh, and everybody's so cool. Where what? is the Thai temple? It's in Tampa, but I don't know. Temple what, Terrace, I What is say. the one in Carrollwood, the temple over there? I think that might be it. The one by size? Oh, is it? I, I think that might be no. it. Yeah. No, no, it's not it. No? No, the temple that you're talking about, Spanish, it's kind of bo bo over by like the industrial shipyard okay. area. Area, kind of like back that yeah. way. 
that's where they do the Thai yeah. temple, like $20 or yeah. In yeah. donation. And Jack talked Thai real well. Jack talked Thai real well. And they do that festival of lights where they you have the lantern and you light it and it, either you can put it on the water or it floats up. It's so really cool. you float cool. it up and everything's aliens. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that's sweet. No, that's not the When is it one that, 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 that you were just telling us about? Uh, that's going to be happening the 26th through the 28th. Yeah. Right. I would yeah. try that. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Why not? I could eat a... Uh, it's a lot of good. fish. It's going to be good. So what would you say? We've always talked about different stuff. You know, a uh, baseball bat versus samurai sword. Oh. You'd rather have a gun probably in any situation. What are some of the other things that you would want to have uh, for, like, self-protection? Or if you were going to try and, you know, rob somebody or do something, what would you use? Bear hands. Bear, if you had bear hands. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Knives. I feel like crossbow would be pretty crossbow, badass. Crossbow, yeah, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Longbow, hard to do. Crossbow, yeah. crossbow though. Uh, if you have one of those loaders that you know reloads, whatever, because yeah. otherwise you had to do that yeah. and do all the stuff I in between shots. Daryl from Walking Dead had the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. and he was very effective. He was. He was very accurate yeah. with yes. that. But you know how they have to load it where you put it down and then you have to put the bolt in and pull right. it back. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm So if you have the one that has the six and yeah. it just turns and does that's that. nice. But I would definitely right through the foot with the old school one. I use the old ones and twos. Yeah. Oh. yeah right. Jack Johnson and uh, Bette Midler. <laughs> <laughs> I like to fight like Alfalfa from yeah. the Little Rascals. Uh, put them wow. up. Yeah. I, I use my Dukes. Yeah. 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 Uh, a man was arrested after Memphis police say he attempted to rob a gas station with a live snake. Wow. Oh, that would do it. <laughs> yeah. If you threw that on me. If you were like, give me the money, I'm throwing this on you, I'd be like, yeah. all right, take the money. Uh, Reginald Cook, who is 26, is charged with two counts of attempted aggravated robbery. His bond set for $4,000. They say around 2 a.m. on Monday, Cook walked into a shell located on Elvis Presley uh, uh, Lane or whatever, I don't know, and made a purchase. About 30 minutes later, he went back to the store and demanded money from the register. Cashier uh, thought that Cook had a weapon because he was reaching into his clothing. <laughs> After the cashier refused to open the register, Cook left. Left. Police say about 35 minutes after Cook came back with a live five foot snake wrapped around oh his neck God. and uh, carried a green gr uh, backpack. He shouted to the cashier, Give me the effing money while reaching into the backpack. The cashier called 911, pulled out his own firearm, ah. which uh, gun beat snake. Uh, no money was taken and no one was injured. I would do my best to not shoot the snake. <laughs> yeah. You know, I it's mean, not the snake's snake, fault. Yeah. The snake's around his neck. Shoot him in the belly. <laughs> mm, snake. Save the snake. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, gun always beats snake. Oh, yeah. He's gun beats a lot. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if there's much that beats gun. But what if you had multiple snakes and you just started throwing them oh. at people, you know? Oh, no. something. <laughs> shoot them in the air. Yeah. <laughs> shoot them in the air. Very, That's agile. very awesome. I'd do the Matrix bend backwards. <laughs> uh, <and then> shoot. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty awful right now. Oh, what happened? What's the matter? My stomach is really hurting. Uh, Mine is too. I had a, well. Hungry? No, I feel like the gates of hell are about to yeah. open. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh man. Oh, I'm afraid no. we're about, we have if, what? Uh, your shake's high protein? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your protein's I had, through. I had a dream last night because I had to pee while I was sleeping. Now I feel like the gates of hell are about to open. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a dream I went to the toilet to pee because that happens in your dreams when you have to pee sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then I also threw up while I was at the toilet. I was not feeling good while I was sleeping. Oh. I, I still have. PTSD from what I had. Yeah. Like, still, I'm afraid to do anything. Yeah. He has PP. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally I, just, I just farted, though. It should be good for oh, oh, yeah, oh, thank you. That's a good yeah. sign. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good sign. <laughs> well, you know, Carmen, at this age, when you do it, you win. So, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was afraid to do that for a week. Oh. Same. Don't yeah, like, gamble. Oh, terrified. Yeah. I'm still a little afraid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I'm always afraid whenever you do it. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't take that gamble. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Wall Street Journal, they're known for their uh, investigative reporting and all kind of stuff. Here's a big story that they did. A big write-up on how a lot of shepherds use Axe body spray to prevent male sheep from fighting. They say that the smell is so strong with the Axe body spray that it masks the sheep's hormones, and then they get along better. Oh, That's hilarious. Smart. <laughs> They're yeah. the only ones that should be wearing Axe body spray. Who used to wear Axe body spray? Who wore All it? of us. Oh, right. yeah. oh, I 100% yeah. used it. That's, what was Swagger was Old Spice? Uh, yeah, yeah I had Axe Spice. and Old Spice. Yeah. yeah, I only used the Axe, but I had several different kinds. Oh, man. I, yeah, remember, I remember Phoenix, I yeah. think, was one yeah. of them. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, there was a few different... Uh, 
I never knew that. It was blue can, red can. Yeah, yeah. Blue, there was something yeah. blue, like cool ice yeah. or something. Did, it, you, did you ever uh, axe bomb somebody's car? Not cool. No, how do you do that? <laughs> if their sunroof is open, yeah, you just you pop the can and throw it in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it smells like Ybor City. <laughs> yeah. 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 In high school, for those of us that were uncomfortable showering with all the other guys, we would just axe it Straight up. Enough. Yeah, yeah, and then mm. go to class. Unnecessary to high school to shower after the I gym. I agree. It's very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh, no. Oh, 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 boring. Boring. oh <laughs> Speaking of needing the shower. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> Dude. Uh, today is National Banana Day. All hey. Right. Everybody likes the bananas? Yeah. yeah. Love bananas. Like what is do. banana? Banana is what? Potassium. Potassium. Well, no, but like what? what is a banana? Fruit. It's a fruit? It's a ve- vegetable. No, it's, it's a fruit. vegetable? It's, a fruit. it's definitely a fruit. It's a fruit. But what type of fruit? <gasps> what what are mean? the types? It, it's a berry. It is a berry. Yeah. Oh, wow. Berry. Oh. Banana is a berry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Joe knows all of yeah. that. It the way it grows, I'm guessing, mm-hmm. right? Well, I don't no. know. Uh, oh, well, you're just making, <laughs> you're just making yeah, up stuff. No, yeah, no, no, it, it, is, it is a berry. I read that it is a berry. I don't know why it's a berry. Uh, maybe the way the seeds are inside or what the thing is. When you type banana, it is the very first thing on the Google box. Is, is a banana, banana a berry? berry? Yes, a banana is a berry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does it say why? What makes it a berry? Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Carmen, you'll just have to go on... Wonder. Accept it. Yeah. Have to trust I'm us. just accepting it. Accept it. It's a <laughs> banana berry, strawberry, not a berry. Oh, because yeah. the seeds are on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. The seeds on the inside make it Where a berry. Where's the seeds on a banana? You ever, yeah. uh, whatever you see bite it? Yeah. yeah. You can't really see them and they don't, they're not like hard seeds or anything like that. But yeah. I never do. Hmm. There you go. Uh, Pamela Anderson has joined the cast Barry. of Naked Gun, the remake that they're doing. Uh, she is going to play the love interest of Liam Neeson, who is playing Lieutenant Frank Drebin. That'll be funny. Yeah. That'll be Hopefully funny. it'll be, be funny. Good. She does that stuff pretty well. Yeah. I think she does that stuff pretty well. I got to tell you, that in Borat, whenever he tries to get her and stuff, she <laughs> does a good job oh, yeah. of making it so real that I think the all the people there, you know, obviously thought it was real. She was in on it. But I thought last time I saw her, she was looking kind of rough, though. Well, yeah, she did. Yeah, she yeah. and she also did the I'm not wearing any makeup. Look how yeah. brave I am. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. And you're so used to seeing her with heavy makeup, especially the mascara and eyeliner and all that stuff. To see her without it makes her look like a completely different person. Mm-hmm. Her and Tommy Lee made some beautiful kids. Yeah. yeah. That kid that's a model, the, their son. I mean, mm-hmm. you're looking at me like, that's a good looking kid. Well, look what he's yeah. coming from. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, Blake Griffin is retiring from the NBA after 14 seasons. Oh, no. 14 seasons. Blake Griffin is how old? 32. 30. 35, yeah. Damn. You think you're I like, oh, man, he's been in there forever, yeah. but they're so young whenever they go in and stuff. Uh, the 35-year-old forward was the first overall pick in the 2009 NBA draft, spending seven and a half seasons with the LA Clippers. He made the all-star team six times. Griffin also played for the uh, Pistons, Nets, Boston Celtics during his career, averaging 19 points, eight rebounds, and four assists per game. Wow. Good uh, for him. He was on the roast of... Weird-looking dude. I think Alec Baldwin, maybe, and uh, I forget who it was. I want to give credit. I think it may have been, uh, what's her name? The blonde, uh, uh, what is her name? Nikki Glazer. I think it was Nikki Glazer. She said, said Blake Griffin looks like a uh, black guy that was uh, printed on a printer and it ran out of ink, <laughs> <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. I thought that was great. Uh, so, yeah, Blake Griffin retiring. Uh, poor legend Jenna Jameson was married to a woman. I saw did that. Did we know this? I, I, know. I did not until I read this news. Right, but it is uh, ending after less than a year, so Aww. not happening. Can't really that's, take your work home with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I could not. Uh, I don't think I could be married to a porn star. No, because they have a they have a certain level of. I don't know. I I assume they have a certain level of where sex should be, and I'm not porn starring it up every night. You know I, what I mean? feel like it'd be the opposite. I feel like they they're want so to just used be regular. To yeah, they're like, please just just missionary. Yeah, I bet it's probably. But probably not good for them either. Like they don't like to have sex. Probably right. Probably in their off time, they're like, oh, "Yeah, Jesus, get off me." Yeah, yeah. for real. You know. Like uh, my wife. But Jenna Jameson, though, man, she really yeah, she put porn to a crazy. whole new level. She did. Well, I mean, she fell off and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But you know, in her prime, she was a superstar. She really changed the you know how women perceive sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she was the first, like, not the first, but she was one of the. 
her for superstar. her decade superstars, yeah. yeah. Superstar. Like she was, I think she was the biggest name in porn ever, really. If you think about it, like there were some other ones that kind of, yeah. okay, they kind of broke through to the mainstream. She really broke through to the mainstream. She's up there with Ron Jeremy. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Uh, for real. Yeah. Like people whose names non porn watchers know. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. you marry an OnlyFans girl? I'd marry a porn star too. Like I wouldn't. I wouldn't look at her and say, "Ill, you did porn." I wouldn't marry you. I don't care about that. Mm-hmm. Um, would you marry her if she was still doing it? Though? That was my no. Next that, I yeah. that I wouldn't. That I wouldn't want to do. If I'm getting married, I want to be married to that person. Yeah. Uh, OnlyFans. I don't know. That's kind of hard, especially if you have kids. Yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yeah. But there's some people who pull it off and make a ton of money. Uh, so I don't really know. I, I I wouldn't rule it out, but yeah. I'm not I'm not. Uh, what just, if she was uh, in disguise or not? You know, yeah, had a it, mask on or something. If, if she did it to where like it was only in other countries or something like that, I wouldn't care. But she's doing it with men, no, like a porn star. No, no, yeah, no, no, I mean like by yourself. Oh, see, I meant like was like a porn star, but on OnlyFans. No, nobody's doing. Nobody's touching my wife. Okay, yeah. I, I mean, I agree you're gonna make me punch you just for saying. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Why? I was just about to tell Amanda. He said yes. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> In. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, I don't like that at all. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> That's not what we're doing? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you asking like that? There's nothing about that lifestyle that uh, that appeals to you. Appeals to me. Same. Like, yeah. Do I want to bang everybody else? Yes, but I don't want nobody <laughs> touching my wife. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I always think about that girl that we talked about yesterday. She's only 24 and she's already had sex with like. 300 something people and that's her claim to fame like yeah that's all she's doing they're all strangers that's what i'm saying like in 10 years what is that gonna feel like i told you the first thing i thought was oh man that's somebody's daughter yeah man (laughs) i'm not a prude when it comes to that stuff i don't care if i like between the ages of 17 and 30 it was bang as many girls as you can so i also believe that that uh women should have it should be able yeah. to do that too. So uh, if you if you have a high number, I don't care about that. If your daughter three hundred, oh no, was, my daughter's never having sex. Yeah. Don't bring my daughter. Yeah. I don't mean my daughter. I'm no, no, no. I I don't. I I mean like having sex with relate. You know whether they're one night stands or right, whatever. Right. Yeah. Not walking into a room of twenty guys and yeah, taking on right. all that's, that's what gross. I'm saying. That's, that's, yeah. That girl has no self respect. Right. And, no moral. And there's yeah. not enough money involved for her to say I did it for the yeah. money. There is this wild uh, um, study that they did about people in one night stands and how they prove that the more one night stands you have, the more of a psychopath you become later in life. Really? Yeah. I, I'm I'm pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not obviously this this study doesn't isn't for a hundred percent of the people, but uh, they said like eighty percent of over eighty percent of people that have one night stands later in their thirties and forties become psychopathic and they're able to dis cognitive dissonance. One, from things. one night stands are such a great day. You you go out, you have a great time, let's say at a club or a bar or whatever, you meet a girl, you're like, I like her, she likes me. You go home, you hang out, you have sex, and the next day, I was like, all right, we'll, we'll talk again sometime, you know, or, you know, they, that's to me, I'm not talking about the one where you ghost a girl right away. I'm saying, yeah. like, if you both were like, yeah, we had a good night, that's mm-hmm. it, move yeah. on. That's the best thing ever. That is not the psychopathic trait. The when you go, when you just sleep with someone and then never talk again, that's what leads to the psychopathic tendency. And I imagine that's a little bit more of the hunt of going and doing it, right? Yeah. And, you know, doing feeding it a lot, your whatever. Ego. Yeah, feeding yeah. your ego. And that is a much like psychopaths who go and hunt and kill yep. and do all that. Yeah. See, yeah. I have a different, I had a different approach pete and i would go out to ebor and at the end of the night if we got girls that we're going home with that's a great night if not we just went to crystals also yeah. equally yeah. as enjoyable <laughs> yeah next day felt a lot better mm-hmm. if a chick was leaving than i did after i ate a whole night of crystals <laughs> just saying. not as greasy uh speaking of uh ladies having sex and lady parts and all that kind of stuff tori spelling would like you to know that she has the lady parts of a 14 year old. Why? Why would she want us to know that? Uh, she constantly wants you to think about her as a oh, child. She's That's, weird, uh, man. Because she had all five of her kids via C section. So oh, right. nothing, That's nothing. Not how that works. Yeah, right? my wife. <laughs> my wife had two C sections. Yeah. She got a woman's vagina. <laughs> oh man! I check it. <laughs> what? Well, oh. oh, you know what you're talking about? Uh, um, I'm surprised in the entire time. That we've been doing this show, nobody has ever called in and said under oath or just a random one. Be like, I met Mike and Ebor one time and had the worst sex of my life. You know what I mean? Or the best sex of my life? Yeah, I, like, I'm yeah, surprised I never yeah. got that. Like, I, like there's so many weird stories. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised no one has ever called in and said I'm that person from that story. I'm surprised, but also very glad there aren't a lot of husbands now that are like, did you sleep with my wife when you were in your 20s 10 years ago? Yeah. Because there was a lot of that and I feel bad I about it. But also, not calls. your fault. I know, but if I you still, didn't know, yeah. If you didn't know, didn't. 
That's not your fault. If yeah. you didn't know, eh, kind of scum guy. I, I agree scum with you, Carmen. Scum yeah. So I, oh, yeah. Listen, listen, there, I mean, Joe knows there were many that I would end up sleeping with in my 20s and then later find out and then they would still want to come around. I'd be like, no, no. are you crazy? No. Like, that's how I get shot. Yeah, that was one time. It was pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I remember. Spanish <laughs> out of the county. Yeah. I remember I had a girl who was married who wanted to bang me and she wanted to bang me in her bed in her house. Oh no, house. that is And I go I go dude. you're just trying to get us killed. Yeah. yeah. That's what For you're real. trying to do. Like yeah. you are She wants yeah. to get caught. Yeah, she mm-hmm. and the just the thrill of all oh, that. Dude. And I go, yeah, very disrespectful. Yeah. One of the hottest girls I ever put my hands on, you all have seen her. She lied to me for almost a year about being married and said that she lived alone and then after the fact, after I stopped talking to her, found out that not only was that a lie, but she lived with him and they have kids together. Oh, and yeah, dude. And I was why like, lie? Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. I was yeah, like, why lie? Me. Just tell me so I can bail out. I don't need, you know. Mm. That's weird. By the way, I don't like how you said that. It's one of the hottest girls I ever put my hands yeah, on. Yeah, I put my Gross. hands on her. Put them bare <laughs> paws on her. Yeah, yeah. Talking about psycho. Uh, one of those that really makes me question girls' decisions oh, that they have sex with. It's wild. Why? Because she was so hot. Yeah. I don't know what she's on you. <laughs> hot, Something. hot doesn't make you normal, though. No, it does yeah. not. It's true. Yeah. I, listen, a lot of girls like me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I get it. No, I, I get them with you. you. Yeah. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, the most amazing out of all of them is Pete. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it it still to this day blows my mind mm. the quality of hot girls that he gets. Girls love personality over anything. Girls love Pete. Yeah. That's just it. And Pete's not... Uh, Pete... I don't know. He's not. He doesn't have. He's not like. Oh, ladies, let's go spend the money. He's yeah, not that guy. He's, he's not fun. buying girls. Get. He's just fun. Yeah, he's just fun, man. He's fun. I would totally. He's the salt. Yeah. Oh. What'd you say? He's the Sultan. Yeah. The Sultan. I thought you said he assaulted them. No. Yeah. Like, no, 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 they all like him. They all like him. He assaulted them. Totally different. Yeah, he <laughs> got his hands on him like Spanish. Ah, he is the salt. He he does have the appeal of an oil tycoon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's very weird. <laughs> uh, Lionel Richie and Ryan Seacrest will announce the 2024 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees on American Idol on Sunday. Uh, they'll also reveal the winner of the fan vote. The uh, full list of nominees for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You include, have them? Yeah. Okay. Mary J. Blige. Wait, hold on. How many are picking? you know? Uh, I don't know. I think All it's right. usually five, maybe six. I, I All right. right. I got it. I will just talk about it. Uh, Mary J. Blige, Mariah Carey, Cher... Dave Matthews Band, Eric B. and Rakim, Foreigner, Peter Frampton, Jane's Addiction, Cool, and The Gang, Lenny Kravitz, Oasis, Sinead O'Connor, and Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Sade, and A Tribe Called Quest. There's too many in there. There's a lot. There's so many good ones. There's a lot. So go go through them slowly and we'll just say yes or no. uh, Mary J. Blige. No. Not this time. I'm just saying not at this time. Mariah Carey. Yes. Cher. Yes. Dave Matthews Band. Yes. Eric B. and Rakim. No. Foreigner. No. Gross. No, no, I'm not saying that they yes. should be in. They're yes. just not going to get yes. in. Yes, they're in. They, if they're not in, I'm driving to, what is it, Cleveland? Where do they have it? <laughs> Where's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Uh, Peter Frampton. Yes. Frampton gets in over Foreigner? 100%. I found out yesterday Frampton was in Humble Pie. I did yeah. not know that. Oh, you didn't know? I died 52 Smart. years old, I found out on Jeopardy. Mm. Uh, Jane's Addiction. Yes. No. Not now. Cool in the gang. Yeah. Lenny Kravitz. No. Oasis. No. Oh. Sinead yeah, O'Connor. I mean, not ever. I'm just saying that now. Oh, all right. Sinead O'Connor. Definitely not. If she's going to get in, she would get in now. Right. She just she died. died. but no. Ozzy Osbourne. Yes. Who's already in with Black Sabbath, but then Ozzy Solo. Yeah. Sade. Yes. No. <gasps> Sade. I mean, don't get me wrong. She may have a place there someday, but, but not, not now. now. Uh, and a tribe called Quest. Mm. Yes and no. Now, uh, yes, they too should early. get in. No, they're not too early. They're just not going to get in. There. There's too many people on that list. Like, I think Foreigner is the best band on that list. Yeah. I just think the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is not going to put Foreigner in over over Cher and Dave Matthews Band. It but, says they'll let in up to a dozen at a time. Yeah, so it does, and it's usually around five or six yeah. that they do, but yeah, it doesn't have a... Uh, but How here, long that ceremony would be? Here's the thing, though, is you have Paul McCartney and Slash and Dave Grohl and all these guys saying, hey, you gotta put Foreigner in, you gotta put Foreigner in. Yeah. I don't know whether that's gonna so do they may, it may It may lend to this time to getting him in. I mean, also, they've been overlooked for so many years. So, so many years. They, they may, I think they've been eligible since, like, 2002 or something. Right, so it's ridiculous that they're not in, um, but who goes to accept that award? 
the guys who aren't in the band? Uh, Mick Jones, yeah. Lou Graham. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, this is going to be this le- this next tour that they're doing is the farewell because right, right. none of them in there. Uh, this year's fan vote uh, closed last night uh, with the results also to be announced on American Idol. Uh, so it looks like uh, the votes cast for that. Um, Dave Matthews band was leading, uh, followed by Frampton, then Foreigner, then Ozzy Osbourne, Cher, Lenny Kravitz, Cool and the Gang. Uh, winning the fan vote is no guarantee of induction. It means that one vote is added to the artist total received from around 1,000 Hall of Fame members. Uh, Dave Matthews Band actually won the vote in 2020, but was not inducted back then. Dave Matthews Band is a phenomenon, and they will go down as one of the biggest bands of all time like the grateful dead Mm -hmm. and there is no denying it i hate their music with a passion really yeah i don't like like, all uh, of it yeah like i like i would change it if it came on the radio i don't i don't love it there's like one or two songs i could tolerate but i just don't like it it's a little too granola it's very, no, it's it, it, it's very but I, which Carter, is weird because I listen to really old, slow, classic rock. But the thing about Dave Matthews Band is they're such good yeah. musicians. It really, yeah. I, I think, I think that there's a place for them in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Um, I, I yeah. definitely do. I, I just, uh, I, I'm saying, like, I, I think to me, it's the icons. You definitely have to put Cher in. Cher is one of the most successful female uh, figures in in the last forty years. Uh, Ozzy is one of the most successful, iconic rock stars of all time. Those are the people that deserve to get in first, is what I'm saying. Mm. Uh, Like Mary J. Blige, same thing with her. I just don't think that she's put the years in that Ozzy's put in. Mariah Carey's undeniable. undeniable. Undeniable with all of her hits. One of the biggest selling artists of all time. So I think uh, you got Mariah Carey, Cher, Foreigner. um, Dave Matthews Band? Yes. Past? Past Dave Matthews Band. Peter Frampton and Ozzy. That's yeah. six. Yeah, I would be I fine with that. Yeah, I think that's who's in I mean, Tribe Called Quest, my wife is texting me, angry Tribe Called Quest with exclamation points. <laughs> yes, I agree. I, I, they're a great a great band of of rap musicians, but I don't think that this is the time for them Put the to get in. in your yeah, ear. There's, too many, there's too many people getting in right now. Uh, speaking of great bands, Journey's Greatest Hits album became the third album to hit how many weeks on the Billboard 200 chart? Oh, God. I don't even know. I don't even know. 800 weeks on the Billboard 200 chart. It follows Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon and Bob Marley's Legend. The album? Yeah. Okay. So, all right. I get you. So, like Fleetwood Mac, those greatest selling catalog yeah, albums e- of all time. Eagles. Yeah. Okay. So, did you hear the story about um, that Arnell Panada was leaving Journey? <gasps> I know that there was, uh, there's been some infighting. There's been some different stuff. I know that uh, Steve Smith and one of the other guys with you know royalties and money and all kinds. Arnell said uh, accuses um, Neil Sean of, of being racist and abusive and is leaving the band. Uh, it turns out it's not true. Neil Sean put out a thing yesterday that said none of it. He's like, I actually have to say this because it's ridiculous, but none of it is true. Mm. And we're stronger than we've ever been. The best yeah. band. So. Interesting. I thought if they're going to try for a third lead singer, that's the worst. Well, they wouldn't be able to do it. The only way is if they brought to Steve Perry. Right. Back. That's Which the only would way. be one of the biggest moves in rock and roll. It'd be huge. It'd be huge. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the Journey's Greatest Hits, uh, third album to hit 800 weeks on the Billboard 200 chart. Uh, awesome. I saw where Bob Marley, a bunch of his sons are going out mm-hmm. and doing a bunch of Marley stuff. And at first I was like, eh, come on, whatever. But then I loved Jason Bonham going out and doing yeah. Led Zeppelin. So Yeah, it's pretty cool. If you're into Marley stuff, you probably want to see Marley's kids out there doing his songs. It's pretty sweet. That'd yeah. be a good cartoon, Marley's kids. Yeah. Did you watch the uh, Bob Marley uh, docudrama? Movie? Yeah. The biopic? No, yeah, the I biopic. did not see I it. Did. It was very good. It was. Oh, good. was it? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, very good. Uh, Carmen? Yes. Are you awake? Yes, I am. Are you ready? We are ready. Okay, let's do it. Here we go, Bone Fam. The Bone Bonus. Sponsored by Farrah and Farrah, Tampa's accident attorneys. com. This hour's Bone Bonus keyword is... Spa. The tower's keyword is spa. Head to the 1025 The Bone app now and enter spa before 15 minutes past the top of the hour. And that $1,000 bone bonus can be yours. Spa. SPA. Yeah. You got it. There you go. Good Good luck, luck, everybody. My wife is also texting me, Eric B. and Rakim. Let's be honest. 
they're pioneers in rap music. They're not in the Rock and Roll of Fame. They but, have two songs. But that's a lot of times they do that where they go for the pioneers or they, they go give them for that legend you award know, or whatever it is. Do stuff. Yeah, they could do that as well. Uh, finally, in news, Loudwire.com put together a list of the 75 greatest rock songs of the 90s. Okay. okay, so start thinking about those. I have the top 20. For some reason, they, well, I have 20 of them. They put them in alphabetical order. So it's not necessarily like, you know, this one's 20, this one's 15, whatever. But they're in alphabetical order. But just think of some of the best, uh, greatest rock songs of the 90s. All right, we'll all right? do that. Plus, nice. we got a brand new open letter yeah. all coming up. We'll take a quick break. It's a Mike Calta show. This is 1025 The Bone. Going into a list, so we took a break, and we'll go back and uh, revisit that now. Uh, so Loudwire.com put together a list of the uh, what they say, the 75 greatest rock songs of the 90s. Oh, rock songs. I'm yeah. bands all the time. No, okay. rock songs of the 90s. Uh, I have the uh, 20 of them. They're in alphabetical order by artist, so you can go through, and uh, what do you think? When you think 90s rock, what's uh, one that comes to your mind? You're like, oh, yeah, that was a great song. Uh, smells Like Teen Spirit. Smells Like Teen Spirit. Which was uh, Nirvana, of course. Uh, that is not on the list. And I'm out. Yeah. But hold on. There's no way. That came out in 1990s, right? Or yeah. did it come out just before? No, no, it was in the 90s. 92, 93? Yep. Uh, that is, let's see. I'm making sure. I'm making yeah. sure when oh, it I'm came positive. out. I'm positive. You're positive. I'm never wrong. Well, I mean, listen, I I'm think 90s, wrong. and I think that, yeah, it was recorded in 91, released in 91. Yeah. So there you go. How yeah. about Jane's so, Addiction, Big but, Caught Stealing? Hold on. Let's just, <laughs> let's just real quick identify that the biggest song of the 90s, yeah. biggest rock song of the 90s is not in there. Yeah. That's crazy. Is That's this Rolling Stone? Crazy. No, no, this Loud is Loudwire. Wire, which is oh. usually more accurate. Yeah. Uh, you say Jane's Addiction? Yeah. Uh, Jane's Addiction is uh, not in there. All right. Uh, 90s. We're under, under the Bridge. Under the Bridge by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Not in there. <laughs> oh, we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, Suck it, Loud Wire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Even Flow. Even Flow by Pearl Jam is not in there, but. Alive? Alive is in there. Uh, yeah, it comes right. in uh, in there. It's uh, from 1991, so I was gonna, Alive. I was going to guess Jeremy. It's probably a bigger song than both of them, which I yeah. hate. But, yeah. Uh, all right. All right. So now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Alive was the... Was Alive the first single off of that? Or yes. was Yeah. Because I remember seeing that uh, late night on like... I don't know whether it was Headbangers Ball or just late night on MTV, and I was like, who are these guys? Yeah. Uh, all right. Nobody else? Nobody else wants to guess? I'm not very familiar with 90s music. 90s rock. You know a lot of these songs, for sure. You, you can even throw out a band if you want to. Alice if you want to go Chains? band, and I can tell you. Alice in Chains? Yes. Wood. Okay. By Alice okay. in Chains, 1992. That is in there. Green Day, Basket Case. Oh, uh, Green Day is not in here. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Uh, no Green Day. Blink-182. Blink-182. I did see them. Yes. What's my age again? Yeah. 1999, Blink 182. Yes. I was going to say they barely make the cut. Yeah. Mm. What's my age again? <sighs> what about uh, Oasis 2? I don't know if that's rock enough for them. Uh, Oasis is, let's see, not in here. Oh, um, The Offspring. The Offspring. Oh, good call. Not in there. Right. What? Mm. Can you tell us a couple that they have? <laughs> uh, 46 and 2 by Tool from 1996. Okay. All right. So uh, smells like Teen Spirit. No. 46 and 2. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Temple of the Dog, Hunger Strike. Okay. 1991. Oh, that's in there. Uh, band that's coming to uh, town here shortly. Aerosmith. Um, Aerosmith is in there, but that's not the one I was talking about. Oh. Aerosmith is in there with uh, Crying. Uh, Don't Want to Miss a Thing. Okay. Yeah. From 1998. But another band that is coming through with another 90s band. Social Distortions? No. Stone Temple Pilots. Oh. Stone Temple Pilots uh, Interstate Love Song. Yeah. Limp Biscuit Nookie. Limp Biscuit. Not in here. Oh. Oh. I'm out. Limp Biscuit Screams 90s. Yes. They, they listen, huge. they say these are the uh, top 20. Top yeah. 20. Wonderwall didn't make it. But. Best songs. Uh, you have Rage Against the Machine. Killing in the Name yeah, from 1992. Right. Okay. Made Jeopardy last night. They were uh, cool. This is a uh, great one, and I believe 
Geo, you may have done this for uh, karaoke at one point. Lump by the Presidents of the United <laughs> States of America. Great song. Not as great as Peaches. But nah. No, not as great as Smells Like Teen Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Millions of Peaches. Yeah. Peaches, peaches for me. Millions uh, of Peaches. Peaches, peaches for free. Alive by Pearl Jam uh, from 1991. A uh, band that I know that you do not like. Nine Inch Nails. Oh, yeah. Closer, oh. 1994. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nine Inch Nails sounds like a car oh, is, man. is overheating Ooh. at all times. Uh, this guy who is up for Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Lenny Kravitz, Are You Gonna Go My Way from 1994. I love that song. I love that album. I love all those Lenny Kravitz early albums. Uh, this is a list from uh, loudwire.com of the uh, what they say the greatest rock songs of the 90s. Corn Freak on a Leash. Oh, yeah. Corn Freak on a Leash. Was my next one, Gio. That yeah. is uh, from 1999. Yes, that is on there. Creed. Uh, Creed is in here. Creed higher oh, from 1999. Oh, but this is not. Yeah. I, I would have. That's wonderful. Uh, do you know who Rick Beato is? He's a uh, great producer, and uh, he has a channel on YouTube, really interesting, where he breaks stuff down, breaks down songs, but then also talks to a bunch of different artists. They has huge artists on there. He has Sting. He has uh, Dave Grohl. He just had uh, Josh Freeze, who is the drummer for Foo Fighters, and he was telling a story about he and Dave Grohl met each other when they were like teenagers oh, really? at a show because his buddy was like, hey, see that long-haired dude over there? That's the drummer from Scream, uh-huh. and he's unbelievable. And Josh Freeze goes, you know, I'm 18 years old, thinking I'm hot stuff, whatever, and he's like, how, how good is he, you know? <laughs> and that, that he said they had just broken up, whatever. And then uh, later on, he told me, he goes, Hey, remember that drummer from Scream I told you about? He's in Nirvana. And he's like, Oh, man, he's got some good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but he was talking about watching him and playing, you know, playing drums for a band whose singer is a great drummer. He goes, To watch Dave Grohl play drums, he goes, It's funny because I've got to sit there behind him and watch him play. And he goes, He plays so heavy that you kind of turn away and you're like, Jesus, dude. (laughs) (laughs) Easy hit so hard. Uh, So, all right, here we go. Some of the other ones. Uh, Zombie by the Cranberries, 1994. This song I hate so much (laughs) because we played it all the oh, time. That's, uh, yeah. There's so many of those songs for me. I'm just sick of hearing them uh, playing on the radio. Played it all the time. And, ugh, I did not like it. Gio, you probably played it all the time, too. Low by Cracker. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I like the song, but you're but right. They, it. It yeah, they, killed it out. they killed it. Yeah. Uh, somebody in the chat said uh, Machine Head Bush. Uh, Bush is not in there, but that's, the, another, great but that's song. another and another band that kind of yeah. defined that uh, sound that time and stuff. Any Radiohead in there? Uh, no Radiohead in there. No. It's uh, greatest songs. Uh, <laughs> number three, this one was everywhere. No Rain, Blind Melon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number two, you got uh, with Alice in Chains, Wood. Uh, th- by the way, this is alphabetical order, so I'm saying numbers, but uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's the greatest. Uh, and then uh, Aerosmith, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing, was in there as well. Mm-hmm. Didn't the fat girl in the B costume try to sue them later on? Saying she didn't want to be in the video or something. No, doesn't that was that, the kid oh, in the pool. Yeah. What, yeah, doesn't that happen with every '90s band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there, like, yeah I don't like it. No, <laughs> so the 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 girl that's on the album is not the girl that's in the video. Oh, so the not? girl that's in the video, they they just hired an actress. To oh, do. Okay, I thought I remember the the B girl was suing somebody at some point, <laughs> like <laughs> figures. Uh, true or false? When I was in my mid twenties, I dressed up as the B girl for Halloween. Shut up! I totally did because I had long <laughs> hair and I did the pigtails and had the glasses. <laughs> So <laughs> that's like the B girl. I, I know I have a picture somewhere. I got please, a please find that. Yeah, hot. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, well, there you go. That is it for news. I don't know. Is, uh, loud wires. Better, uh, better Halloween costume. Kenny Rogers jackass or the B girl. <laughs> Kenny Rogers jackass was good. Uh, Barf was pretty good. The Barf one year was, for, was uh, really good. For the cruise made it all myself. That was really good. Made it all myself. Yeah. We haven't. We have to do a big costume thing for yeah, Halloween. We haven't always, done that in a long time. Those are a blast. Yeah. And I'll probably order a costume from somewhere. Eh, why not? I Can still I remember when yeah. we played and you showed up in the elf outfit. Oh, it was the eighties. Yeah, and uh, I was like, "You are going to die in that thing" because it was the full costume. Yeah. Hey, Willie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tried to play with the head on for a little while. Oh, oh God. Too hot. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Were you gorilla one year also? And yeah. it was really and hot and played you played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, Magnum PI that year with the short shorts <laughs> uh-huh. and the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> that was when John Brennan was uh, Zach yeah. from uh, Say by yeah. the Bell. Yeah. 
That's funny. Uh, I I started to say this yesterday, and I don't know if I, according to some people in email, I don't know if I completed it. Uh, we have a gig coming up with Pitbull Toddler on the 17th, right? Is that right? I got to look it up before I screw it up. Well, uh, 17th the 17th of May, yeah. I'm sorry. 17th of May, we will make a triumphant return to Sarasota uh, with our man Pitbull Toddler at Joyland. Woo. Yes. Yeah. Woo. I don't know if yeah. I actually got the whole sentence out yesterday. I started talking about it, and then I got sidetracked. So, yeah, we will be out there at Joyland in Sarasota. That's that's fun time. Yeah, always fun. Always a great place. Yeah, that's a really cool place. Yeah, I always worry. I'm like... We go on this country bar. They're gonna be like, "Why are these guys?" And then they they come and they hang. And then yeah. when we're done, they do their line dance. Damn right, uh, 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 uh. you can line dance a Def Leppard. Right? Yeah, why not? I don't know. Do I <laughs> Try it. Two, out. three, four. Hey, go see <laughs> wrong, go. Wrong, wrong, wrong count. Oh. Wrong count. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, Alvin has a brand new open letter. It's a little late, but we'll do it next on one hundred two five The Bone. Why does it bother me so bad that you smoke? During the break, uh, I can uh, tell you why it bothers me. Why? And I'm spraying. I, I was gonna say it off here. It still smells. Oh, I, so I, I taste like salt. I'm not even making fun of you or I'm, anything. I'll stop. It. it you it, can't stop. Like, when you, I can stop. When you came in and sat down, cigarette just hit me right in my face to the point where I had to pull my my shirt I'll up. Stop. Yeah, it's rough. You can't uh, just stop smoking. Yeah. Here you I can. Let him. Yeah. Here I can. Yeah. That makes me want to punch you. <laughs> yeah. I want to punch your face in when what? you say that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course I could stop here. The most addictive drug in the world. You're just going to stop smoking what? Uh, here. four like hours four a day. Four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know most smokers can't go to that it's way. Very easy. You think you could smoke once on the way here and then wait till you can leave? Yep. All right. Think about airplanes. Yeah. I think I know what like, you're going to say, Gio. Go ahead. Yeah. So why don't you do the vape like Joe with the nicotine? Is that different? Yeah. It's I not don't, the same. Well, I had a, a cousin that w- wound up in the hospital. From that. Boy, uh, what about all the millions the of people that died yeah. from smoking cigarettes? Yeah, but that's. I haven't heard anything about that. Takes death. too long. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, it's a yeah. slow death. Yeah, yeah I, I don't You'd wanna... much rather wait yeah, yeah, than it happen to. Yeah. You know. Listen, we're all going to die anyways. I'm not really worried. Yeah, well, it's, it's a fact. Yeah. You're just rushing it. I mean, maybe. I, Joe rudely chucks his clouds in everybody's face with no regard. Definitely yeah. in your face, yeah, too. All the yeah. time. I do try to harass It pisses me off to no end. Yeah, it is. It's disgusting. When Joe's drunk, he blows it right at you. Yeah. <laughs> scumbag. Yeah, you know. That's right. I, mean, I don't know. You're scumbag. I do. I'm, well. I'm not telling you not to smoke. I'm just asking a question about my mental instability. Why does it bother me so much that you smoke? I don't know. I don't you know. You can smell it. Like, get, no? like I mean, I, I taste Lysol right now, but I'd much rather taste Ly- Lysol than smell cigarettes. Yeah. I don't know. I think you just don't like me. No, I do like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I like no, you. I don't think so, yeah. I watched yeah. you uh, smoking with your hat backward, and I wanted to just run you over with my car. Oh, right. That is not <laughs> someone that you like. That's, yeah. yeah. Maybe I don't <laughs> like, not like someone that you Would like. you say by definition that is not liking someone? But thank you. I, I feel like you've it. changed. Yeah. Yes. I don't like, I have I don't like new Spanish. I'm sorry. I like old Spanish. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, <sighs> He died last March. This he did? A month ago. Oh, for sure, dude. What happened last March? <laughs> you serious? Mm. Well, that all happened in October. No, I'm talking specifically last March. Yeah. He has a lot this, of stuff, Carmen. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. I know. When about... When he means last March, he means like a couple of days ago, we, a month ago. Oh, this yeah. past March. Yeah. yeah. Every time you say that, I think the year prior, and I'm like, what happened to you? I can't no. believe we're almost in May. It's blowing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about this morning. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait for all the Justin Timberlake memes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So okay. <laughs> you so you, it, right? <laughs> I, you feel like you're in a better place. Yeah. I feel better. like one day you're gonna break out of it and go, I'm back, baby. Nah. Mm-mm. No, I, I was even. I mean, even with. I would rather you do coke during the breaks. No, definitely not. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, no. That no. I won't. I'm smell. on board. Definitely not. Yeah. No. Yeah, Joe no. votes yes. Yeah, yeah, I vote no, yes. No, no. Even like I was talking about it yesterday on the after show. It's weird to even drink now without the desire to get drunk to just enjoy a couple of drinks. Who does that? Yeah. I, I've never done that. I've yeah. never enjoyed a drink. Uh, every once in a while, whenever I have Mexican food, I'm like, yeah, I could go for a beer, you know, and have that with the Mexican food, but I there has never been a time in my life where I think uh, that I just go, I'm going to have a cocktail or two. I, yeah, the the I just drink wine. to get drunk. <laughs> I, can, I can have uh, one or two uh, old fashioned from Burns. They make them so good. I'm yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 That Tequila Daisy place makes a great um, uh, Paloma. That is I delicious. can't go there anymore. You ruined it for me. Why? Because I just picture you and your hippie girlfriend going there. She's not a hippie. You go... The two of you laying in a hammock together watching the sun. She's, I can set. tell you, she's definitely not a hippie. She, she works the for the government. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
You can't be a hippie and work for the government. In the 60s. No. Yeah. Unless you're Charlie Manson. Did you hear that we were talking about her yesterday? Mm-hmm. She did not. She doesn't, she doesn't listen to the like show. She has no more, idea. No. Yeah. What's she? Yeah. Yeah, I hear her more. She's very nice. Mm. She's a very sweet, sweet person. You love? You tell her you love her? No. Mm-mm. You do, no. though. Too early. No. No, no, no. Too early, Galvin. Yeah. No. For Spanish, like it's not. Week. Yeah. yeah no. Nah. Told you that guy died March. Yeah, wow. I'm saying too early because it's too early. I didn't say for Spanish it was too early. Yeah, no, I'm just saying anymore. that's too early. To like do I said, that. I didn't, she doesn't know where I live. She, I don't know where she. Yeah, this is very, very new for me. Taking it very slow. Oh, yeah. good. All mm-hmm. right. Yeah, you need this. Yeah, I, I agree. That's why I'm. I'm glad all that stuff. It sucked, but I think it needed to happen in March. What and do you think? Slower. You're taking this relationship slower, or slower that the cigarettes will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the first one. Oh, no. the first one right. yeah. oh man! <laughs> Just as you say, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no more calls from Clarence Carter. No, no, uh, that was kind of fun. No, no, he's but, definitely in jail. Yeah, he is, and yeah. she hits me up still. Still, yeah, what? Yeah, you, didn't you don't block that? her. Yeah, yeah, she'll still hit me up. Which is weird. Do you answer? No, nah, I answered once or twice, but uh, uh, no, nah, for the most part, I kick it to voicemail. What did it sound like? Uh, sh- sad. A lot of sadness. Hi, a lot of sadness. And right, I'll be her. You be you. All right. Anthony. Hello. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Please take me back. Nah. Yeah. Please. So why answer? Uh, cause mm. I I still feel compassion for her. I you know I I know that she's not in a good place and she doesn't have a very good support system. So, uh, I have a question for you. How did the uh, Joe pledging his love for Zoe go over with uh, Sugar Pants? <laughs> oh, <laughs> not great. Oh, no. She heard it. Not oh, great. Boy. She, was totally she yeah. heard it? Yeah, yeah, of course she did. I wasn't pledging my love. You have miscategorized that <laughs> statement. But uh, yes. What were you doing? That's what it sounded like to no, me. Yeah. I said, yes, I, I do love her, but well, my uh, heart belongs to my girlfriend now, Sugar Pants. So, so much that not, you try to put your hand on Spanish is like. Well, I thought it, I thought was, he was. Her, I thought he was my girlfriend. Gay at the time. move. Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> really was, I was super gay. Sorry. I, I wish I could have taken a video of the look on his face when I moved his hand and he went, "Oh, yeah. you are not my girlfriend." <laughs> no, I didn't believe you were. For sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, but yes, man. to uh, to your original point, and Galvin, I apologize. I will not smoke anymore. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't believe it. Uh, right. be, I believe there'll be sneaky, sneaky smokes. You can't sneaky, sneaky smokes. I don't know what you do. <laughs> I'll smell it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. And yeah, I apologize. I, I, yeah, thank thank you. I, didn't, I just hated your face. I didn't hate the the fact that you were smoking. That's I, I don't care whether you smoke. Yeah. I just don't. I just don't want to smell it. It's just disgusting. Yeah, interesting. Galvin's face when you walked in. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it. It was not pleasant. <laughs> what did it look like? Well, it, he sat down and he, then just it wafted over right in my face, and I just went like this. I went. It was as if Spanish went out and rolled in dog poo. Yeah. And then oh. walked in the room. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That'd be weird. Mm. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm glad we got a lot accomplished today. Yeah. yeah. I miss old Spanish. I can't believe that uh that Christmas still calls you. Yeah. Me either. And that you didn't you haven't blocked it yet. You still leaving I mean, that open. You're still leaving that channel. It open. doesn't matter what I block. She has oh. called me from burners, Google dead. lines, all yeah. kinds of stuff. Yeah. There's yeah. ways around it. It's, I still feel like you're leaving the channel open. I mean, I, I am leaving it open in the sense that I know that she, you know, like I said, she's not in a great place and I feel bad. You do? Yeah, of course. Oh, you know? After what she would put you through and lied to you? Well, you know, listen, I don't want to get all weird or whatever, so I'm not going to say anything about Too what late. I want say to. It, but, say uh, it, please. You gotta, me you I, to forgive. Nah, well, yeah. Like, uh, it's, I learned, uh, I had to forgive myself for a lot of stuff that I had done, so I like to extend that to other people. People make bad decisions. Everybody makes mistakes. When's Does your next it, spiritual video coming out? Uh, uh, this week for sure. I don't know exactly what I want to talk about you yet. Can't I force don't it, it, yeah. I know, but I feel, I feel like a lot is coming out right now. I feel like maybe he's getting inspired by this. <laughs> uh, yeah, but he needs Joe to shoot the video, and we know that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, he's not drinking the today. Videos on the not, show, not so. right not now, now. Anyway, yeah, yeah, cameras yeah. on the charger. Your spiritual videos are the visual. Uh, equivalent to your cigarette smoke smell. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fair. I accept they that. They both make me do this face. Uh, that's understandable. <laughs> that's understandable. I feel like you need music. And I do like it. Oh. 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 This makes them think of somebody else, though. Uh, oh, no, yeah. not, not anymore. No? Nah. It's the first thing I think of. That's all done. That's good sitar. Is it? Yeah. How do you know if it's good or bad? I like it. Yo. <laughs> This sounds like me with a <laughs> sounds acoustic like, guitar. I was going to say, it sounds like Pete Tooney. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Spanish. It is me. Your inner God. 
<laughs> I hit your face too. <laughs> hit an E. Give me an E. Nope. 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 Turn your head around, yeah. stupid. <laughs> Right. I'm sorry you hate my face so much today. I, uh... It's a combination. It's the hat, the pink shirt, the beads, Ash and the cigarette. Mustache. Yeah, well, it's, the it's, mustache. It is Wednesday, so. He said the pink shirt for a long time, though. Yeah. That's not you. Got no, I know, me. but there's you a combination, got, though. Your wife Pete got, got you that. Yeah. Yeah. Pete. Yeah. 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 Correct. Come on. You yeah, know right. your own clothes. You're right. There's a combination well, that I don't like. It's not the pink shirt. I like the pink shirt. It's just the pink shirt with the beads and the hat. Yeah. Makes me angry and the ashtray mustache. Sorry. You look and smell like you should be singing for a uh, puddle of mud. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> no, you look like you should be in the front row at Puddle yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There's a big difference. Hell yeah. 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 So no hat, no cigarettes. <laughs> what else? No beads. Yeah. Shave your mustache. No videos. Yeah. No videos. Nah. Geo. Yes. Hundred dollars if you rip those beads off from right now. No, I couldn't do that. Oh, okay. Just saying. Thank you, Geo. It makes them happy. They do. I don't gallon them. He doesn't need the hundred bucks. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll get somebody that needs the money one day. Well, that's the thing. I mean, everybody, everybody has a price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to carry, just to carry out what I secretly want to do. No, yeah. I wouldn't say secretly. What Not I really want to do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> secretly. Not really a secret. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. It's all right. Joe, two hundred. Mm, no, I'm sorry, Michael. Oh can't my do God, it. that two is two hundred. That is loyalty. Mm. Yeah. That is well, loyalty. Yeah. It is. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How much are those beads? These uh, these beads are a fair price. What is a f oh? I don't even want to know now. What do <laughs> oh, those stupid no, beads cost like, you? They're a lot. Uh, Twenty five bucks, thirty bucks. Oh, yeah. oh those so, aren't real. That is fair. That's no, a fair they're price. Not they are real. real. No, yeah. They don't work. They don't, yeah. yeah, right, Karen. <laughs> yeah, they don't. Work. Those are plastic. Yeah. I bought like those beads or uh, what are those? We know what beads you yeah. bought. Uh, no, uh, yeah. no, 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 no. No, why can't I? Chat, pull them. <laughs> no, the ones on his, the ones on your wrist. Why can't I think of the name of that? Oh, gay beads. <laughs> Not um, stupid beads. Just like no. stone beads. The stone beads, but what? Yeah. There's a name for them. I can't think of it right now. Rock candy. But um, anyway, I bought some of those bracelets <laughs> before, and I like one of the bracelets, uh, the Suge Knight, or you know, Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Whoa. Hell yeah. Uh, Shungite. Uh, or something like that. It's much the different than Suge Knight. Death Row. Shungai Shunga and Knight? Suge Knight are like literally two letters different. Shungai Samsonite. Suge Knight. Suge Knight beads are black, and you got to buy them from a PO box. Suge Knight is is also black, and it's supposed to help with like radiation. Oh, it does. Stuff like that. It does. Is the beads that I'm talking about. Shungai Shyamalan makes they a sixth sense. Are not fake. They've proved through science right. that they are not fake. But, but they do the, what? They hold energy. Everything's right. energy. Yeah, they actually do everything hold holds energy. No, nope. well, yes. used to made my uh, pickup line. You want to hold energy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two yeah. Energy they hold down. a high level Quantum. of energy. Oh. Maybe they have something to hold nicotine, and that'll help you. No, that's not how it works. But thank you. <laughs> I just got a text <laughs> from Moose, <laughs> and Moose said, "For a hundred bucks, I totally rip them off and rub them in s." Mm. Oh, well, that says a lot about Moose. <laughs> <laughs> he says he needs money. Yeah. yeah, Joe wouldn't do it for two. Yeah. Two hundred. Nope. Two hundo. Joe, Joe must be yeah. living high on the hog. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know I'm not living high on the hog. My business just must very, be up. Very, yeah. I'm very happy. He's got yeah. Spanish paying for the internet. That's yeah. right. <laughs> 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 uh, I got you, Joe. Uh, Thank you. Uh, what else? What else did he pay for? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what do you mean at the house? Yeah, like what's his like? If you got rid of him, what do you have to replace? Uh. Just his rent and the internet. I feel like Spanish is going to move out soon. Yeah. And move into a place that has like 40 people living there. Mm, no. Old Spanish. And everybody sleeps on pillows. Old Spanish enjoyed living at Whore Island. New Spanish, not so much. Uh, yeah. I, I actually do enjoy very much living at Whore Island, which is why I haven't moved out yet. Yeah. You should I told out. him he doesn't have to. He, I, he, I told him I don't want him to leave. Leave when you have something better to go to. Mm -hmm. Just like you would say to any son. Yeah. Don't leave because it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Leave because you want to go somewhere. Ooh. Don't and say I, that to your son. Yeah. I, yeah, I like Sugar Pants. She's a blast to hang out with. She is. And so, her mom. I do like yeah. her mom. Her mom's really cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. The yeah. daughter. Yeah, the daughter's also, also very cool. cool. It's like we have our own little family going on. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right, hey, what do I know? She, she dyed her hair last night. You should have seen it. Who did? Oh, boy. Uh, Sugar Pants' daughter. Oh, no. I'd rather not too. Yeah, How she's old still is like she? sixteen years old. Yeah. She's almost sixteen. Yeah. Oh, you don't creep! Talk. Don't talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> don't talk what do you mean? About about he's talking about like a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. no. He's like, hey guys, you daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Check it out. Okay. 
It's not about your daughter. It's just about something I saw on Dr. Phil yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this is for real. I saw it on Dr. Phil. Is a freshman in high school, is it okay for them to go out with a 19-year-old like that had just no. graduated? No. No. Mm-mm. That's a big difference. That, that is a big yeah. difference. That, that four, that four or five years is a big four or five years. Yeah, totally agree. When you're when you're forty and you go out with a forty five year old, totally fine. Okay. When Let you're me... fourteen and you go out with a nineteen year old, that yeah. is a big. Is they're going to manipulate you. Yeah, in yes. some states. In some it, states. In most, in no states was a criminal. Uh, but in nineteen fourteen, yeah. It's yes. definitely criminal in some states. To well, have sex? maybe, yes. maybe t- no, 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 no. Well, I don't know. According to them, I, the reason why I'm asking is they had a guy on yesterday, on Dr. Phil, who is a religious leader who has been accused of taking advantage of young girls in his organization. And one of them was, uh, it, you know, they wrote stories about him having an affair with a, a 13 year old, which, and he's like, first of all, she wasn't 13, she was 14. Uh, and nope. she was a freshman no, in nope, high school. That help. It, 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 How old was he? He was he had just graduated. Said he was nineteen. Yeah. Nope. Uh, so I was like, I, I don't know. I don't think that that's. I don't want that. I don't want my oh. daughter to date a senior. I don't want her to date a guy who graduated high school. If he's nineteen, he had to have failed a year. But when if I was he just in high, graduated. when I was in high school, no, no. But I'm saying he had graduated. Right. But when I was in high school, there were a lot of freshman girls that dated seniors. Yeah. Right. That, but you're in school together. There is a place where you meet and Well, they grew see each up they grew up day. together. They knew each other. They grew up mm. together. Mm. Still 19 and 14. No no. Well, hey, listen, I, the guy I, the more I watched, the more I realized he was a creep and a liar and all that other stuff, but in the beginning I was like if this is the biggest thing that they're holding against him, that that's insane. By the way, telltale sign is whenever you go she wasn't 13, she was 14. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Right. that is not helping at all. <laughs> Yeah, that's like saying she only said no seven times, not eight. Oh. Yeah, thirteen. <laughs> you know what I mean, thirteen. I mean, my daughter's uh, eleven. She's not dating anybody at thirteen, mm-hmm. let alone a nineteen-year-old. Mm-hmm. That's when that's when we kill a nineteen-year-old. Yep. Yeah, no right. doubt. All right, it is very late, but ladies and gentlemen, it's time to check in at Galvin. He's got a brand new open letter. And now an open letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to the WNBA. Dear WNBA, seriously, for those of you that don't know, and by ticket sales and TV ratings, there are a whole lot of you that definitely don't know, WNBA stands for Women's National Basketball Association. Caitlin Clark, an amazing college basketball player, just got drafted number one overall for the WNBA. She'll earn $76,000 for her first year playing. I've been hearing and reading a lot of people saying, pay them more, pay them more, which makes me realize that a lot of you have no idea how business works. So the highest paid player in the WNBA is a woman named Jackie Young. She makes a whopping 252 record scratch thousand dollars per year. (laughs) The highest paid player in the NBA is Steph Curry. He makes a little more than $55 million (laughs) per year. What? Why? Tear the patriarchy down. Last year, the WNBA made $60 million from their TV deal. The NBA made $2.7 billion. Is it starting to make sense? Let me make it a little bit more local for you. It's the same reason why the guy that is playing at whatever beach bar on St. Pete Beach on Sunday doesn't make as much as Taylor Swift makes playing the arena. Listen. Hopefully, one day, Pirate Bob makes as much as Tay-Tay. But for now, it's three free drinks and a tip jar. Nobody is selling their Kia for the same price as a Ferrari. Would you pay the same price for a meal with the same ingredients if one was made by Gordon Ramsay and the other was made by a homeless guy that I picked up from the underpa- overpass? You know what? Something is worth whatever someone is willing to pay for it. I don't know which side of the argument this lands on, but the Denver Rockets mascot, Rocky the Mountain Lion, makes $625,000 per year. Are you serious? Harry the Hawk for Atlanta makes $600,000, and Benny the Bull from Chicago makes $400,000 per year, (laughs) which means the mascots from the NBA make more than the highest paid player in the WNBA. And to that, I say, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> I'm Galvin from the Mike Kelta Show, and this has been an open letter to the WNBA. Oh, wow, that is <laughs> awful. 
that's tip a, jar. That's a little bit of a slap in the, <laughs> the face about the. Well, he works in the bigger industry. Guy. I mean, it makes Look, sense, but I 100% get it. But I'm just saying, all those women have to feel awful yeah. about that stat. Maybe uh, Caitlin Clark could get a tip jar. Yeah. Put it out there. <laughs> Wait, uh, I, told I, told think I, no. I would tip them after the game. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> My <laughs> word. Oh. That is I'm pretty awful. I'm going to be a mascot. Is what yeah, I yeah. mascot is where I it's at, I want to be a right? mascot, yeah. yeah. Look out, you Thunderbug. Get to, you get to go to all the games. Yeah. You get to be on the floor. Sure. You get a, you get a ring if they win. You make people happy because you're right. giving away prizes and you're doing fun stuff. And You just dance and take yeah. pictures. Right. I'm in. Yeah. Where do I sign up? Six hundred thousand a year. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I can't believe Danielle has a ring. Yeah, isn't that yeah, cool? Right? That's yeah. great. Huh? That's pretty awesome. Wow, Carmen. What? You'd be a great mascot. Why don't you be a mascot for this show? I think I am. Mm-hmm. Carmen, Maybe you already got the beard. You could be the uh, yeah, Sonics, no. No. the Sasquatch, or whatever <laughs> yeah. it is out there. No, no, no. <laughs> Joe's uh, the mascot. Joe yeah. is the mascot. Yeah. Right. I just knew Carmen could do backflips and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I just I don't want to take Joe's job. <laughs> oh, thank you. Carmen. You've always been Car- a sweetheart, Carmen. Yeah, Carmen I mean, can do backflips and Mike can do front flips. Too soon. Too soon. I found a bruise today. Oh no! Yeah, Where? like it didn't manifest till like this morning or oh, right sorry. above my my left ninny. Mm. Sorry. It's yellow and gross. Mm. I know. Oh well, that's what happens when you get older. And you fall. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could have landed on top yeah. of something. Oh, you, oh, you could have the head first right into the yeah. uh, tortoise uh, thing. Ralphie's cage. Yeah. yeah you uh. were very close. That's what I thought was about to happen when I first started watching it. I was like, oh, he's going into that. <laughs> I wish that you oh. could see what I saw. Stumbling, stumbling, me, my heart beating. I'm going to try and catch up to it, blah, 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 and then fall. And I was like, God. Butterfly <laughs> garden right just, there. The yep. earth <laughs> rushing towards you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wonder if the butterflies got scared and never going to come back then. <laughs> I saw some out there, Michael. I think okay, they're back. Good. Yeah. It is amazing how how uh, butterflies came to my house as soon as my mother-in-law did that garden. Yeah. And then I saw a super hot girl that I know online, and she was like, I'm having a problem with milkweed. I need to find milkweed for my butterflies. I got all these uh, cocoons about that. And I, have no, I was like. This guy has milkweed. Right. I've so, become that guy. Is that something uh, you plant that butterflies enjoy yeah. and they yeah. come to? And yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. I, I and I got fat bees in my yard now too, which we never saw before. So and fat bees make the world go round. Mm-hmm. So I learned that from Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Let's take a break. Let's play whose tweet is it when we come back because we started to play yesterday, but we didn't play. Um. We were actually going to play Google Feud yesterday. Yeah, but, but we can play who tweets is it. Okay. Right. Um. I gotta tell you, I'm I'm in the process of maybe trying to buy something. Oh, what? I'll give you one guess, and I'll tell you when we come back from break. Will you give us a hint? You are in the process of buying some sort of vehicle. He's on the right track. Hmm. Is it a new some golf sort cart? of RV? No, and no. A fire truck? No. A let's, plane. Let's save the guesses for when we come back. Oh, I'm just oh, saying, okay. if you got any. If you needed a clue, I was going to give you a clue. Okay. All, right. All right. So, some okay. sort of vehicle. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm very excited about it. For you? Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. All right. We'll take a quick break. And when we come back, I'll tell you and we'll play uh, Google Feud. And it's not a little Disney fat guy tweet? scooter. Wait, are we playing Disney? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. What did I say? I'm sorry. Yeah. Who's tweeting? Well, he made Galvin made little hand gestures like I was buying a scooter. And I, got so excited. I got so excited. I'm like, finally, I told right. you. No, 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 it's no, great. No. It's bigger. It's bigger. Damn it. All right, I'll tell you when we come back. It's Mike Cal the show. This is 1025 The Bone. It finally happened. The flight attendant asked, is there a doctor on this flight? And I leapt up and said, yes. Did a tracheotomy at 30,000 feet with a razor blade and a ballpoint pen. Oh. Ooh. He didn't make it, but the thrill was undeniable. I'm thinking of going to doctor school now. <laughs> Some of these dumb jokes make me laugh. I'm getting old. Anyway, um, Caitlin Clark. Yes. Would you or would you not? Yes. Not take the fame out of it. Uh, she does have those eyebrows like the eagle from the Muppets. He's telling yeah. you the beer is bad. I'm out. Mm. I'm in. I like her her rough jaw. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a friend named Brian you might like, too. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm just looking at that picture. Uh, we have a lot of things to give away, don't we, Carmen? We do, Mike Kelta. All right. Hold on off on that. 
Okay. Did you guess? Did you guess what I'm uh, what I'm purchasing or what I'm trying to purchase? Hmm. I put out a full cash offer last night to the guy who bought my Hummer. You're gonna buy it Ooh. back. You're gonna buy it back. What? Uh, what? You have problems. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it, and I bought one in 2004. Went through a uh, two Range Rovers, an Escalade. A, uh, what was that kind of half truck, half car thing? I don't know. One of those. Uh, I went through, like, every type of car there was, and nothing made me as happy as the Hummer. I went back and bought another Hummer from Stingray, and I loved it, and I spent all this money fixing it up, and then I, I, I eventually, I didn't drive it, and I sold it, and now I miss it. I'm having regret. I thought, weren't you on the list for the new Hummer that was coming out? Yeah, but that's in so insanely priced, Geo. Oh. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, did this guy do any upgrades or changes to it? Will you be buying it for more than you sold it to him or less than? No, I'm lowballing him hardcore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy who spilled bur- boiling water on his feet oh. and he can't drive the car. Oh, take anymore. advantage of him. That's oh. what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Oh. He can't drive it. Wait. No. Is he. What happened? You, know, he spilled. you don't know that story? No. So when Dave, no, I'm sorry, not Dave, uh, Forrest Shaw and um, who who does the podcast with Forrest Shaw? Was it John Reap? No. Who does that? I don't know. No, it was Dave Williamson. It was Dave Williamson and Forrest Shaw. They were down here for the Sunshine Comedy Festival and they were doing their podcast live and I was guesting on their podcast that day. So... I go up there and I hear them telling a story and they were like, yeah, this guy, I know he called me, he spilled boiling water, uh, on his feet and is like, showed me the picture and they're horrific and they got bone on them. And Uh, uh, And I'm like, uh, wait a second. Somebody recently sent me those pictures. How do I not? So I got up there and on the podcast, I was like, this can't possibly be have happened to two guys in the past couple. Is it possible that your friend who burned his feet, is the guy who bought my Hummer. And I explained the situation to him, and it would turn out it is the same guy. And the guy who bought my Hummer, who's friends with Mo, bought it for a decent amount of money. And then I, uh, when he first burned his feet, I immediately offered him a, a cash offer for it. And then I didn't hear anything. And I reached out to Mo last night, and I said, is that guy ever sell the Hummer? And he wrote back, and he said, no, but he's interested in selling it. I made him a cash offer and he did not accept it at this point but i'm i'm willing to throw in some aerosmith tickets so oh. he burnt his feet so badly that bone was oh my gosh it was like out of him it was like two face oh, no. out of the movie <laughs> yeah it was gross that's what we're gonna do you uh, on friday be oh, yeah <laughs> so anyway oh. well, good luck I was just thinking about it. My feet hurt. Like literally, oh. I'm taking. I took myself back to when I got in the ice bath and thought about how that felt, like pins and needles going through my feet. Like that was painful. I am immediately thinking of myself, where I will be parking my car in a different area. <laughs> what do you mean? That no, you're not getting that by. If oh, you had yeah, to back yeah, out yeah, in the car, no, yeah, 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 yeah. It's already tight, tight, tight. I might have to make parking spots in the circle. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Anyway, I, I don't have it now, but I'm interested in, in buying it back. Are you that? looking at other Hummers or just that one? Just that one. Yeah. I put so much into that one. Sure. So why would I start over again? Good luck. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Galvin. It's like you don't one. need it. I don't need it, no. It's not a matter of need. It's one. If you right. want something, yeah. you like it. You can rich. afford it. It's not like your Boom. kids are going to go hungry or anything like that. You want to have it? Have it's it. like when Spanish answers a Christmas phone call. I miss it. Mm. I miss it. Yeah. What was the main reason you got rid of it to begin with? It didn't. I didn't really need it, and I didn't have room for it, like yeah. Alvin is saying. I, now you Joey have room had a car. No, but Joey's leaving <laughs> soon. It wasn't, That's true. It wasn't dating a drug dealer? And also, he'll have... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Uh, you'll have uh, the other. You'll have the... Uh, Stingray Chevrolet, the Silverado there, so you can have that for driving, like going to Sarasota or whatever. But right. you know, take a nice little Starbucks trip with yeah, the uh, Thank you, Galvin. Yeah. He feels me. Yeah. I I love being high up in that car and the right? iPad and the all the other stuff, the smooth ceiling. I used to rub it while I drive. <laughs> well, anyway. This is a bad idea. Um, I'm just telling that guy I'll get Maros my tickets and the money. <laughs> well, you know who is gonna be a bitch to get it out of is my wife. Oh. When I if I try to tell her I need the free funds from the uh from the stash to go buy a car oh, no. back that she never liked in the first yeah. place. And also well, my son, the best is I said to my son, I'm thinking about doing this. He goes, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. 
I hope one day he would find that car cool and I would give it to him. Not even close. Oh, I don't think it's cool. I'm just saying if it's yeah. something you want, you know, yeah. you're going to get it. And then a month or two is going to go by. And you're like, I shouldn't. I need to get rid of that. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Just, just see if you can rent it from the guy. Yeah. Just, uh, just for, take it around the neighborhood. Yeah, just take it out for you know, a weekend for all time's sake. I don't want to smell like him and his, uh. and his bony feet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Boiled bones. Uh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him and be like, you're going to give him that deal or we got more more boring. Where were they oh, going? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just uh, call him up and you hear the sounds of running water in the oh, background. Oh, man. Not, not, not cool. <laughs> Carmen, what do we have to give away? Okay, so we have a bunch These of are things. all things I will throw into the guy if he, if he sells oh, me the no. hammer. Go ahead. <laughs> we have tickets for Don Felder. Nope. Heart and Cheap Trick. Okay. Sunfest. Yep. Bad Religion. Yep. Stone Temple Pilot. Yep. And Aerosmith. All right, let's do right now a little Who's Tweet Is It Anyway. Hold on. Oh, Are we giving away? Well, I gotta go back to the other page. Yeah. Oh. Let the tweeting begin. It's on the way. Who's tweeting anyway? Tweet, 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 tweet. On the Mike Calter Show. The Aerosmith's in Orlando, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. it's here in Tampa, but we're giving away tickets for the one in Orlando. This is almost inconveniencing people. Mm-hmm. Um, drive to Orlando. Yes, Carmen. Mike Calter, we do have a special guest on the hotline. Oh. Well, who is it? It is Jason, the guy who spilled hot water on his face. Oh! Hey, chicken foot? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you know, there were no bones exposed. It wasn't that bad. It was gross. First of all, M- Moe's awful for giving out the hotline number. I'm just saying that. Yes. Yeah. All right, so it, I'm off the hook then because I've no, never yeah. 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 It's still it's Geo. Mo. It's Geo, Moe, and Spike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but get it, Jason. I Jason's promise to it. delete it immediately. I don't believe you. But anyway. Um, what what ticket you want me to throw in to get the Hummer back? Uh, you know, how am I going to get to an Aerosmith co- uh, concert on this foot? What? Do you anybody understand what he said? How am I going to get to, gonna get to Aerosmith on, with those feet? I'll, I'll send you in the sprinter. <laughs> Steven Tyler has bad feet. He'll be there. That's yeah. true. You know. Yeah, he's going to talk about your feet. Yeah. Did you tell them? Did you tell them how low the offer was that you uh, made for me? I did he not. Said, I did he not said he was low and balling you. Yeah. He was low balling you, but he didn't say the actual number. Can I discuss this, Mike? Yeah, I don't care. Okay, I bought that thing for thirty grand, and dude's offering me five grand to get it back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh my god, okay. that makes what sense. Okay, that? it's old. Okay. Yeah. It's a, that's a thing. I don't want to put any more money into yeah. it. Plus, is I already had uh, two more owners now. That's right. What year is it? it you and I your mean, feet. I mean, two thousand seven. Yes. <laughs> I haven't driven it very much, but uh, I got to tell you, man, I feel a little taken advantage of, buddy. That's kind of a low ball offer. Yeah, come that. on, you got you got to do at least half. You got to do at least half. Come oh. on. Uh, you were first of all, you weren't you, you weren't taken advantage of. You you were definitely delivered no. a good car, but uh, your the offer is low. But I I just feel like uh, the, it all things would have to come together for me to get it. I wouldn't be able to get. I wouldn't be able to free uh, fifteen thousand dollars. From my wife to buy it, she would be, kill me, and you're not driving it. So good, go low to where it's a realistic offer. And I threw an Aerosmith well, ticket. No. Is it H two? Yeah, I don't feel like you ripped me off when you sold it to me. Not at all. That wasn't what I was saying. But that five grand, I can't take that, dude. In good conscience. Uh, yeah. Two thousand seven Hummer H two. Medical bills now. Uh, ranges from six thousand five hundred fifty six to twelve thousand eight hundred and twelve, right. and that's in good condition. I don't I'll know. I'll give you six thousand. It's in great condition. Well, I don't know unless you rammed it somewhere when you're with your boiled it's water feet. You uh, added a lot to it, didn't you? I mean, no, it's, a good it's got a custom headliner. It's got a custom dash. It's got uh, brand new custom seats. Custom leather seats. Yeah, I memories. mean everything in it's brand new. Plenty of memory. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, 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 there's not very many. Uh, Let's stop saying all that stuff. No, no, but I put all that stuff. I already paid for it the first time. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's why I'm not, you know. Does the, the iPad and all that still work good? Actually, no. The iPad's cracked, uh, but that's the only problem with it. Everything else is still working the same I way it does. The, I, I got to get a new iPad. Uh, yeah. yeah, come on. I'll do six for this. <laughs> yeah, listen. Hey, do it. I love you, though. All right, hey, look, it's cool. I'm not mad at you. I don't expect you to be, but I, sometimes I get to the point where I'm like, just go, just get rid of it, and I wasn't sure if you were at that point yet. So you got to get clears from your wife, huh? What about, I mean, consider it a charity. What about the Calpha Family Foundation? I'm all injured over here. Yeah, why would I want to burden them with a 2007 vehicle? 
he could wrap it in the logo of the charity and park it all over town. Awful. Awful. But hey, listen to me. What are you looking at? What if what if I help you get into a new car? Well, Oh, I feel like I struck your face. Right, well, here's the thing. I can't. I, I can't expect. I can't. I can't accept lower than than let's say thirteen at the absolute lowest. Um, but it has to be some car. I don't know. Hmm. Let me talk about it. Let me talk to Pete. See what he can come up with. Hmm. What if uh, Mike I'm gives you five right grand in cash, and then Steve Hurley gives you five grand in rebates on ooh, your new car? Ooh, I like that. Yeah. That's ten grand. That's, that's still lower than the thirteen, though. Mm. Yeah, I know how math works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how long ago did you sell it? <laughs> uh, how long ago? A year right? ago, two years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot. Two and a half years. Yeah. Oh, it's depreciated oh, right now. Yeah, yeah. totally. Probably needs new tires. Plus, it smells like burnt feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you never get that smell out of there. No, no, no extra uh, charge for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the You're half of a salesman. We'll knock off a grand for that. Yeah. How are you climbing two, in and out two of feet. it? Two feet. Two grand. <laughs> Very carefully. Yeah, yeah it's, that's because it's so lifted. My foot, my foot really wasn't that bad. I just got a little scarring on it. It's not like the skin melted off my bones. It was just. It was. Really big, you did melt some skin off your bones. Yeah, a little bit. But <laughs> oh. my foot is still. I'm better now. It's healed up. Right. Oh. Now that you're better, can I share yeah, those sure, pictures? Sure. sure. Just don't uh, don't show my face. I don't think I had your face. I think <laughs> it was just your feet. Old Hummer foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old Hummer foot. Oh, man. You might have to send them to me again. I don't, I don't put, think I have them anymore. Put them up there. Put those pictures up to Love Tiger's feet and, uh, you know, Ugh. see who's Jesus better. Christ, I got a lot of Jasons in my phone. Um, all right. Well, yeah, can you send me those again? Uh yeah, I'll email. All right, and I'll uh, I'll talk to Pete and see what he can come up with. All right, thanks. All right, see you, buddy. Thanks for calling. There you go. Thanks for calling the hotline. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Mo. Mo gave me. Oh, great. Idiot. Idiot. Um, I'm not paying thirteen. No, no. come on, Let's get out of here. Yeah, for two years, yeah, at least. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, I just figured the guy was like ready to get rid of it and get something else. So. Yeah, if I give him five grand, he could take that and go put it as a down payment on a new car. Yeah. He'd be in good shape. But now that he knows you want it, mm. no, he doesn't want it though. He's a big deal either way. Well, yeah, either if way. everything works out, he'll take it. But uh, you know, thank you, God. Yeah, mm-hmm. he understands. All right, let's do a little. Whose tweet is it? All right, I'm going to read a tweet from somebody on air on the bone staff or that calls in on the hotline. You guys <laughs> have to figure out <laughs> who it is. Uh, and uh, pick three right, and you'll be a winner for somebody on the phone lines there. All right, here we go with your first tweet. So, what's up with Puffy? Did he just get everyone to ignore the sex trafficking? And then it has a thinking face. Done. And he wrote, done. Diddy. Like, like D-I-D-D-Y? D-I-D-D-Y? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, done. Carmen's done. Mike's done. Spanish is done. Done. Geo's done. All right, Spanish, I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? Stupid tweet, stupid Mo. He says Mo. Mike Kelta, who you got? Stupid tweet, stupid Spike. He says mm. Spike. Carmen, what do you think? As he likes to refer to himself, that's P. Dizzy. You say that's uh, <laughs> Dizzy, all right. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Gio, who you got? I also put Dizzy. Carmen and Gio says Dizzy. They each get a point. That is Dizzy. Very Damn nice. It. Good job. All right, we go to your next tweet. Is going to be this one. It has a picture of this person uh, in the gym locker room, and it says, finally, seeing some results from getting back in the gym. Down 12 pounds in two months, mostly from my face. LOL. Oh, damn it, I think I saw this. Hmm? Who's 12 tweet is that? pounds. Who was fat? Whose tweet is that? Hmm. You read it one more time? Finally, seeing some results from getting back in the gym. Down 12 pounds in two months, mostly... From my face, LOL. Done. And there's a picture of this person in the gym. A little selfie. Like in the gym locker room. Spanish is done. What are they doing in the picture? Just kind of standing there? Yeah, just standing there looking at the uh, camera, not looking at the actual, right. where the God photo damn it, is. I saw this. Thing. Done. Not Geo's done? At the phone. No, done. they're looking at the phone. Oh. Not like looking how you should look for a selfie. Yeah, like the cool guy. Done. Because it looks like it's in a mirror. Uh, Carmen's done. Hold on, I'm just running through real quick. All right, all right, all right. Not that guy. Not that guy. Not those two. Five grand for the hopper. 
<laughs> Who got fat? Huh? Mm-hmm. I, I think I guess. All right. Carmen. Oh, can I change it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Done. All right. Carmen, who you got? Uh, has to let people know he's working out. That's Mo. He's as Mo. All right. Mike Kelta, who did you have? Who did you change it to? I really gave a guess to John Senning. I haven't seen him. Don't know anything. I just was yeah. taking a guess. All right. But then I remembered. I think I did see this. I think it's Will. He says Will. I think right. so. Uh, Gio, who do you think? Old fat face. Mo. Says Mo. <laughs> Spanish? I said Olivero. Olivero. Oh, that's oh, a good one. Call Olivero fat. <laughs> no points. Oh, damn it. Oh, what? That was Ethan. That was Ethan. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Uh, 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 yep. He doesn't Ethan. count. Uh, by the way, Ethan knew Will. By the way, <laughs> Ethan working his way into the bone. Have you uh, noticed? Yeah. Have you noticed? Doing the show with Mo. He was on the after show. Huh? Working his way in. Interesting. Playing bass, people toddler. He did. He did. Uh, all right. Your next tweet. Uh, right now, Carmen and Gio both have one point. Mike in Spanish, not on the board yet. This one says Alex Pereira isn't human. Hashtag UFC 300. Done. Geo's done. Done. One more time. Alex Pereira isn't human. Hashtag UFC 300. Mike's done. 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 Carmen and Spanish done. Mike Kelta, I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? Watch it from my living room while eating a banana, Mike Olivero. You said that's Olivero. Geo, who do you think it was? Johnny B. Carmen, who you got? I said that's Mike O. You said that's Mike O. In Spanish, what do you think? Corey Cardinal. You say Corey Cardinal watching the UFC. <laughs> One of you got it right. Damn it. And that person is Gio. He has yes. two points. That was Johnny B. Johnny B. Got that one. By the way, Alex Pereira getting hit in the nuts and then shaking it off and just being like, yeah. no, hang on real that quick. I'm going to knock this guy out and then immediately knocked him out. Was wild. Uh, this next one has a uh, picture of the beekeeper uh, movie poster. And it says, the beekeeper is the greatest unintentionally hilarious action revenge flick I've seen. Done. It's Done. basically John Wick, but instead of killing a dog, they kill the mom from the Cosby show. Done. Done. Everybody's done. Everybody want to answer on three? One, two, three. No. no. Geo wins the game. Whoa. That was like that. Mo. I don't like that, that at all. That was Mo. Love it. Very nice. Losers. According to Geo, fat face Mo. Not yeah. anymore. Well, well, down 12 pounds, he says. No, that's no that Ethan. wasn't him. Still, <laughs> that wasn't still, him. Not, still not Mo. <laughs> still <laughs> not Mo. Uh, all right. You want to do another round? Yeah, let me uh, get a winner real quick. All right. E-D-E. Log me out. Oh, first. For suspicious Suspicious, reasons. yes. Hold suspicious. On. suspicious activity. Is this you? Uh, we will send you four Spanish. notifications. <laughs> 84. <laughs> uh, all right, Gio, what line are you playing for? Line six. Line six. You got that. <laughs> Oh my God! It's so loud in your so car. Your phone. Hello. Too loud. Too loud. You can't win. Too Line loud. Four. You can't win. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Why is it so loud in your car? Oh no! It's at my work. What do you do? I work in a mail room. Bunch of machines running. Yeah. Step it is. outside real quick. All right. I'm no, no. You're good. You're on hold. I'm gonna put you on hold. You're the winner. Okay. Thank you. All right. Hold on. Carmen, get old uh, Cliff Clavin when you can. <laughs> Got it. All right. Good. Go. All right. Your next tweet has a picture of Baron Trump uh, giving the thumbs up next to a lady towering over her. And it says, I don't know, man. I know Caitlin Clark is good and all, but I really think the Indiana fever missed on a sure thing by not drafting Donald Trump's son in the WNBA. Done. Geo's done. 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 Carmen's done. Spanish is done. Done. Mike Kelt is done. Gio, you won the last round. I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? That is Will. You said it's Will. Carmen, what do you think? Hates Trump. That's Spike. Spanish, who you got? Spike. And Mike Kelta? Uh, political commentarist, Will. Uh, Mike and Gio both say Will. Carmen and Spanish both say Spike. Two of you got points. Mike and Gio gets the yeah. points. Yeah. Very nice. Started off good. All right. Stupid. Uh, your next tweet. PSA, don't provide me with content if you don't want to become content. Done. Mm. Oh, done. <laughs> Spanish done. done. Geo's done. Carmen's done. Mike is ooing. Uh, easy. I'm done. Easy. And done. I wouldn't say it was easy. Spanish, who you got? That's dizzy. You said it's dizzy. Carmen, what do you think? 
That's Dizzy. That's Dizzy. Mike Kelter, who you got? I also guessed the Dizzle. You say Dizzy, and Geo says it's easy. Who you got? Dizzy. That's Dizzy. Everybody's right. That was Dizzy. Yeah. Oh. For the win. Easy, easy. Uh, currently, Mike has two. Geo has two. Spanish has one, and Carmen has one. Here we go with your next tweet. This one says, the journey through grief is not linear. The Goldman. Done. Beautiful oh. words describing complicated closure. Sorry, I thought that was Spanish at first. Can you say it again? <laughs> the journey through grief is not linear. The Goldmans. Beautiful words describing complicated closure. Done. Geo's done. Done. For the win. Spanish is done. 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 Carmen's done. And Mike is done. Yeah. Carmen, I'm going to start with you. See if you can tie it up. Who you got? That's Mo. You said it's Mo. Are you questioning? Are you yes, making a statement? I'm That's Mo. No, Spanish, know. you could tie it up. What you got? I said Drew. You say Drew. Mike Kelta, you could win it all right here. Uh, not quite at Drew's level. Close. Mo. You said it's Mo. Geo, you could win it all right here. Who you got? Hotline Mo. You said it's Mo. <laughs> Hotline Mo. <laughs> we got ourselves a runoff. Oh. That was Mo. Oh. Mike and Geo. Running off. Carmen in Spanish, you can take a nap. I can off. <laughs> I'll night. leisurely walk off. Uh, this next one has a picture of uh, Lightning Coach Cooper, and it says, Coach Cooper looking like he's ready to round up the posse for the postseason. Done. At Bolts Radio. Hashtag Go Bolts. Ooh, there's two. Nope. There's only one. Geo is done. I got I to gotta change my... For the win. Mike is changing... Done. All right. This is the runoff. Mike Kelta, tell me who you had. Who did you change it to? I had Johnny B. Yeah. I changed it to Mike Oliver. All right. And Geo, you can win it all right here. FTW, who you got? Should have kept it Johnny B. Johnny B. The champ has spoken. Oh, Geo oh, is right. You should have stuck with back. Johnny B. That was Johnny B. Well, Geo wins the game. Geo picking up the line. Line 12. Uh, I miss you, Tom Brady. Uh, Good morning. Who's this? Rob. Hi, Rob. You're the other winner. Please hold on. Carmen will get you during the break. All right, buddy? Thank you. All right, thank you. Carmen, don't give them any tickets that the Hummer guy might want. Okay, deal. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, uh, good job, Gio. That was great. Uh, Damn it. You guys should have stuck with Johnny uh, B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got to take a break. It's Mike Cal to show. This is 1025 The Bone. I know who you remind me of with your hat back, which and it's weird because I don't hate that person. I just hate you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so, fair, uh, I guess. Um, steak sauce guys. Steak sauce guys. The, uh, Bear w Burton. sauce. W, w sauce. sauce. Which one? The one that always wears his hat backwards. Burton. Yeah. All right. Kind of look a little like him. Like okay. You're adopting his look. All right. Well, I mean, I. I all right. Yeah. I don't think I'm adopting anybody's I look. Think you got up and was like, "Who's yeah. a cool guy I could look like from now on?" You do? <laughs> I <laughs> doubt that. That's what that's, you got from that. That's not what. Uh, but all right, all right. I see. I see what you're saying. Are you ready to see? Yes, please. Oh. Hummer Jason's melted feet. <laughs> yeah. By the way, do you know how he recovered from that? No. Poured W sauce on his feet. Oh. <laughs> right. Calvin, it's Good ironic for that you say that because it looks like something. <laughs> Good for put W sauce on. Yeah. I don't think I want to see. I can't wait. I love this stuff. Let me just tell you now, you don't want to see it. No, I do. I do. I'll I take do. A, I'll take a look. I love a good degloving photo. Uh, oh. No, degloving. Yeah. Mm. That's good stuff. Uh, give it a second. It's coming up. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, you have it over there. Oh, oh mama. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's just. I can't climb into a Hummer. By the way, let's no. just all agree. Not great foot upkeep to begin with. <laughs> I mean, how do you know? Ah, it looks like the, the nails. Yeah. Because the toe is melted, though, so the nails look bigger. Mm. <laughs> the pinky toe oh, looks. The pinky toes looks untouched. You're right. Mm. You're right. You're, I got more. You want to you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they have to pull all that off. Do they? Oh, yeah. They that's use all a wire head. brush. It's yeah. all infected. Uh, mm. uh, I can't. Mm. Uh, yeah. How did he do that? He healed up pretty good. Uh, I, oh, either. No. You're right. Those nails are gross. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got one, more. I got one more. Yeah. Probably the best thing you ever did. If you had to lick either oh. his foot or Love Tiger's foot, you Love have Tiger. to. One or the Love other. Tiger. Love Tiger? Love Tiger. Yeah. Uh, I'd pour W sauce on that guy's foot and lick it up. Look at that one. That's zombie foot all day long. Yeah. That's... Oh, just take the foot. Yeah. I would just don't take it. Yeah. Take I wonder. The foot. Yeah, go to the prosthetic. What? 
Oh, I well, was like, I'm not offering to buy the foot. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want that foot. <laughs> yeah. Carmen, do you, you, can you see him or no? No. I'm going to send him oh. to you right now. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I wonder if he had to do the wire brush to get that oh, offer. Stop if, saying wire brush. If they did the, uh, where they put maggots on you and let the maggots oh. eat your dead flesh. They don't really do that. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah. Not here. Yeah. I mean, you got to be really bad. Oh, well, I mean. That's other country uh, stuff. That, no, they do that here. Did you ever hear the guy that yeah. did that to save his friend? Uh, yeah. His arm whatever however it happened tore off ripped off blew off and he uh packed it with maggots and put it back on and then wrapped it and stuff yeah. and they said that that's what saved his arm absolutely isn't that crazy it is yeah. that's wild because they don't eat any of your living flesh no. they yeah. only eat yeah. the dead flesh but you can feel them, like yeah yeah kind of oh, tingling that's so under gross. there yeah. Oh so gross. <laughs> yeah that's what nightmares are made from yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh. i need carmen's flesh nightmare fuel yeah oh I like nibble on camera a little bit. I'm gonna have dr- bad dreams now. You saw the picture? <laughs> yeah. Zombie foot. Oh, <laughs> zombie foot. Yeah. Zombie foot. What do you think yeah. of them nails, though? I mean, those were zombie beforehand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, gonna see a chance. Uh, Mike held the show though. It's me, medicine man. I just I said no, medicine man. What do you think? I said don't. What? I said anybody wants to call, call not medicine man, and you call first. Because I got fast fingers. Oh, well, what, what can we do for you? Uh, I don't know. No. Uh, You're offering I'm nothing. I'm going to. Come- um, are you aware of what bank jugging is? I am. It doesn't sound like it doesn't. The name doesn't meet the crime. No, no. no. Bank scanning. Mm-mm. Bank uh, planning. Not bank jugging. What is bank jugging? Bank jugging is where you watch somebody go to the ATM. They pull out a bunch of money, then you follow them to their destination and rob them over there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Seems- yeah, but I don't, uh, I mean, first of all, you, you should do a good job of protecting yourself and how much you pull out of the ATM. I'm yeah. quick. I snatched that money and yeah. put it right in my pocket. Mm. But, uh, but like, you don't know how much did they pull out. How much is a I lot know. of money before you drug them and follow right. them to the next gig? Are you well, doing that for a hundred bucks? Two hundred right, bucks? Yeah, a thousand? Nah. I don't think I ever pull more than two hundred bucks out of the machine, mm-hmm. unless like before I was going on the cruise. Right? But the uh, one that they uh, were talking about in that article, the guy took out cash and put it in the center console of his car, and then went somewhere else. They followed him, and when he got out of his car and went in, they just robbed the car. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're, so. they're, they're having. Uh, there's plenty of other stories where they follow him to their destination and rob him at their destination. Like one guy got followed into a convenience store. Yeah, and they rob them in the convenience store. Yeah, they so. just know you. They know one hundred percent you've got cash on you. But yeah. also, don't leave a bunch of cash in your center console. I know. You know? I leave it right next to my gun, though. Yeah. But then oh they yeah, take then they have a your... gun. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm saying I wouldn't leave it if I got out of the car. Gotcha. Sorry. Yeah. Jugging. Jugging. Yeah, it doesn't make like... sounds hot. I thought five hundred bucks was the most you could take out. No, you could take it, more in an ATM. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, you yeah. set your own limit. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me, gambler has <laughs> raised his limit before. <laughs> I, I was out in Vegas one time and I took money out, and they're like, "Nope, uh, uh-uh, uh, you're not getting that." And I called my bank. I go, "What are we doing yeah. here?" I go, "Raise my limit." And she goes, "Yeah, you just have to call and raise." I go, "Well, let's raise it. Raise the roof. Do I, it." I imagine Vegas ATMs are unlimited. They, oh, get a, they have no, no limit. They actually force you to take more than you wanted out. It, yeah. it is yeah. your <laughs> bank. Your bank determines how much you get taken out. You can take out whatever, but then you have to call your bank and right. say, "Please." Uh, raise it to this amount or whatever the amount is. <laughs> the only thing that's more in Vegas is the amount that they charge you to take the cash oh out. Oh my god, it's, it's like unreal. ten dollars oh. to take cash out. So, y- do you have any idea how much money per year those ATM machines make oh, in those no. casinos? Oh, it's hundreds of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Do the casinos own those ATMs? Yes. They yeah. do. Yeah. Right. Well, they they get at least get a percentage off. Yeah. Of it. Okay. Yeah. Whether it's the bank that puts it in there or whoever, they're they're getting money off of yeah. every transaction. Because just like any, if you uh, have a bar, if right. you have a convenience store, or whatever you, hey, we want to put this ATM in here. All right, well, how much do I get? Yeah, it's yeah, one of those kind yeah. Because I w- there was a while where I was looking into buy because you could buy ATMs as a private, yeah, uh, sure, uh, pers- yeah. yeah but LLC. the job, then where do you put them? Like Anywhere you gotta figure out, and then you gotta pay stores. somebody to put them there. So what I was reading is that w- if you like, if I like, let's say I bought ten ATMs, I would go to different places and ask them if they wanted an ATM, like either at their establishment or a gas station or whatever. They do get a percentage; it's very low. 
Uh, and the best way to do it is I would be the one going to and fro each one and, and taking out the money and all yeah. that. That's where, gets, that's, that's, that's where it gets dicey. Yeah, that's where it gets dicey. Two and fro. Two and We were just talking about the uh, video poker machines off air about Lemmy doing those. The video poker machines, when they do that in the bar, they also have to pay yeah. the bar. You know? Yeah. So but you can you jack say. up your price, like in Vegas, where, you sure. know, like, let's say I'll charge $5 instead of $3 to use my ATM huh. and everybody. I know. 15. I know. Yeah. 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 I, right? And then your yeah. bank sometimes charges you on top of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. The uh, best scam is an ATM at a strip club. Oh, my oh God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're taking like $25 yeah. a charge. And no, the, the, be- the best scam at the strip club is buying the club money. Because oh, yeah. you What's buy club money. You buy club money. Say that you have uh, Spanish's booby bar and you sell club money. Uh, for a certain amount, whatever, and then uh, they can give it to the dancers, and the dancers redeem it. When the dancers redeem it, they charge them too. Or if you cash your money back in, they charge you again yeah. on the back side. Yeah, they make, really, they, get you they make their own conversion rate based yeah. on whatever it is. Or as you'd like to say, to and fro. To and fro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to and fro. So speaking of ATM machines, whenever I worked in the nightclub, we had obviously have an ATM machine in there. And one uh, day I'm in there, and I'm opening, and this is, you know, before 7 o'clock, and turning the lights and doing this, and air conditioning. Conditioning. I go walking by the ATM machine and I go and I look at it and I go, doors open. Oh. I open the door. Yeah. And there's, you know, it's a Saturday night and there's a bunch of money in there. And I went, shut it and turn the thing. I was oh, like, smart. you dumb dumb. Yeah. I mean, we, I know we have cameras everywhere. You didn't so. take any? No, we have cameras everywhere. Uh, well, nobody noticed the door is <laughs> open. Yeah. Like bucks yeah, but there. I told that guy, I go, hey, guy, let's yeah. lock the door. Because yeah. if it yeah. wasn't me, it would have oh. been somebody else, you know. <laughs> somebody would have been, like, let me get 20 bucks out or, or two grand. Uh, see everybody later. I'm torn between uh, charges for the ridiculous charges that they charge you to get the money out. So if I go to a non Wells Fargo and try to take money out of a Chase Bank, I have to pay their, mm-hmm. their ATM right. fee. And sometimes those ATM fees are like up to like $6 yeah. now. It's insane. It's like a ridiculous ripoff. But then. Again, first of all, I can go to my bank and get, take it off for free. Or why do I think that I could go to their bank and use their services for free? Well, you remember know? remember how we just covered a couple of weeks ago how they're lowering the fees for overdrafting and all that? For yeah. late right. credit cards and all that. Yeah. So this is where you'll start to see now those ATM fees and all the yeah. other things where are going to go start to go up. They always is repurpose it elsewhere. Absolutely. Uh, my wife, I don't even know what her card is, uh, but she gets reimbursed for any ATM fees. Yeah, that's pretty good. From where? Yeah. Uh, whatever her card is from her yeah. bank, yeah, yeah, from yeah. her bank. Whoa. So, whenever she uses her ATM card or debit yeah. card, whatever, if she uses it at a different place, they uh, um, uh, give the money back. Yeah. Starting a bank or a credit system is probably one of the smartest things you could do because banks do this thing, it's called tranching when they invest money and they get and they get uh, they get interest based on every transaction. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I don't want to, I'll, I'll, I'll spare you the details, but tr- if you want to look up tranching, it's pretty intense. Tranching. Tranching. Yeah, so you could, like, Bank of America in Florida can transfer money all the way up to New York, and every time it goes to a different bank, every bank collects interest on that transaction. From, the, from holding it? Yeah, so, okay. and, and once you start a tranche transaction, you can't take that money out for a certain amount of time until it completes all the way up. So, basically, the bank will take all of our money collectively and then repurpose it to each new bank, and each tranche, tranche transaction Gets them more and more like interest. That, that money like that that. We never, but we never see that money. Oh, no, they're charging it. Yeah. Were, you, were you talking about it, or was it may have been my brother Tom? He said, "Don't go and obviously don't try and rob a bank." He goes, "But they don't have any money." Yeah, like he was doing something, right. and he was like, uh, "You they cannot have, go to a bank and and take out." More than two hundred thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, like you have to give them advance notice. Yeah, and all that's stuff. like remember, all they have there. Yeah, yeah. remember uh, with uh, Ozark. Yeah, he and then he kind of schooled them on yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, but you, I mean, normal citizens can start their own banking system. It's actually a lot easier than you think. And that's not illegal. It's not. It's not. And there are ways with through trusts. And if like if you bought a bunch of gold, you pulled people together and bought a bunch of gold. Now you have a backing system where you can mm. give and yeah, you can give credit to people. I'm not going in. I would not go to the First Bank of Spanish. Like, no, no, I'm not going to do sure. that. Uh, First Bank of Spanish, just, they have some here and they have some fro. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Caldas Show, good morning. Morning, everybody. Hi. So one of my banks, you're going to love this, uh, Florida Central Credit Union, uh-huh. at the end of the month, they refund all ATM fees. Why, the, yeah. why am I not going to that uh, bank? Yeah. There you go. Now you, now you go. What <laughs> bank is it? 
Florida, Florida Central, Central Credit. Credit Union. Okay, I've been lo- I've been looking for a credit union, so that is they get five percent interest and they uh, again refund all ATM fees. All right. Mm-hmm. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Thank you for the heads up, sir. Yeah, I gotta tell you, I'm starting to pay attention to the old people things now. Like my wife, I don't do any of this stuff, but my wife was really stressing out over a car insurance. My dad used to tell me, "You wait till you have kids," because my, you know, my sister's way younger than I am. And he's like, "You wait till you have kids. Wait till you see how expensive it is." And mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, Joey has a, a a car and an accident. So my insurance, take a guess, my car insurance for the year, probably for the for entire everyone? year. Yeah, uh, just for Joey or like no, Joseph for the, whole for the whole family. I would probably imagine three to five grand. You would imagine that. Yeah, about twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. That's a good amount of insurance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you would think. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Shouldn't you, like ATM fees, you should get all the ATM fees back. And insurance, if you don't have an accident, you should get all yeah. the money back. That's the, that's the gamble, yeah. man. But yeah. they would, uh, our financial system would crumble yeah. if no, they I know, did. But I'm saying, yeah. I wish. Be dude. nice. Yeah. Take half back. Yeah. <sighs> all right. It appears that is it for today's show. 